my girlfriend, she's fucking, you know, I love her to death. She's really, really smart and funny. She will not go a day without going on PerezHilton.com. Neither will mine. And if you guys, it's fucking annoying. Have you, have you seen? That's have you a seen girl the, thing. Every girl see, out I don't, there. I don't get it because I go on, I went on the site and she's like, it's, you know, it's great. It's really, it's, it's addicting. I go on it. And it's it's just pictures of famous people, and he literally draws dicks on people's faces, <laughs> yeah. and like has yeah. cum shooting in their face, and cocaine, yeah. and stuff like that. And it's like I, I love that this guy wields so much power, and he's basically doing what a sixth grader would do. <laughs> oh, a famous person! What if a dick was near their face? <laughs> like that's what that's that's his thing. I I, I can't stand it. I read. I it's, it, and, hate that guy. Yeah, he's yeah. ridiculous. He's and, a and in Los ass. Angeles, that's that's one of the things I hate about living in LA I love I, I wish I wish I could live in New York City but I'm, I'm in Los Angeles right now doing the show and uh, uh, and I, I can't stand that I, I will I will go I will go out to bars and clubs and stuff and he's there and there <laughs> he gets more paparazzi taking pictures of him and he's this like well, he Jesus has a faux hawk Christ. by the way Jim does so he? yeah he does yeah. hey yeah. let's see let's see Perez Hilton put uh, 50 up on fucking his site and draw a dick by his mouth. Let's see him do that to Jay Z. Yeah, let's see yeah. him put a dick by Jay Z's mouth on his fucking site and watch how fast those fruity teeth are fucking Shug. knocked off his guy. Yeah, put a picture of Suge Knight up and draw a dick by his face, Perez. You fucking sissy. That could yeah. be a problem. We're That's... trying to find one where he's got a dick close to. Or something like that. Yeah, you're right, Jimmy. You, you want to absolutely let, again the rap? I love the rappers because all these things that they do to these stupid fucking white people. Rappers don't play games like that. No, no you want you want to you want to follow me? Like, <laughs> Sir, <it's>, see, here's <laughs> a good one. That's pretty funny. Jesus Christ! Here's a good one. It's Clay Aiken, and then there's an arrow pointing at his crotch with the word above it uh, that says "insert." And I love it says uh, "file under gay, gay, gay." Britney Spears, Clay Aiken, <laughs> like that. <laughs> file. That's the kind of hard hitting news he does. Is file under gay, gay, gay. I only have gay, gay. Oh, I'm there's... trying to find my gay, gay, gay file. And there's there's actually 27 dresses is advertising on there. Yeah, there's OJ with a little uh, drool coming uh, out of his uh, mouth. That's cum or, because he was re released from jail, and of course he was sucking dick in right. uh, in jail. Cool. And, oh, and, and look, he, he innovatively put more cum as in Kiefer's Southern Kiefer. That's an actual photo. <laughs> <laughs> Some cum coming out of that, Kiefer's no mouth. There, yeah. Uh huh. I can't. Yeah, I, I don't get it, and I can't. She, she always more she'll, cum. She'll, Rachel <laughs> yeah. Ray, with some cum. We get it. <sighs> she and my girlfriend will get off the the site and she'll come to me, and it takes. I can tell she wants to let me know about. <laughs> I, I can, I can I feel where. It. What do you want to? What do you want to do tonight? Oh, because was it? You know, maybe we will go get some food. Whatever. Um. 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 Uh. <laughs> Did you know that Lindsay Lohan had sex with some Italian guy and he released all the fucking facts about it? Can I talk to you about that for a little while? Yes, absolutely. Please en en enthrall me with, with what positions Lindsay Lohan uh, wanted and, and whether or not she had cum or a dick on her face on the site. Hey, what was the problem you had with uh, TMZ or something? There was some kind of a, a race-related joke. Is it, is it, oh, they're so stupid. I said something are. like... I, oh, yeah. There was a black cameraman. I'm like, isn't this amazing? A black there's a black and an Asian guy filming me. I said, this is so amazing. We're all getting along, and something something so stupid. And they're like, is Chelsea Handler a racist? It was like yeah. the biggest non-story. They are the <laughs> dumbest news website. Even Perez is better than that because even he's terrible. But TMZ like makes a story out of nothing all yeah. the time. It's like slow news day. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, I say things on my show every single night that are much worse than I said on that. And they're like, "Ooh, is she racist?" Yeah, you yeah. guys uh, went after Perez Hilton on your TV show recently. That was the one I saw. Uh, that was because after ago. I heard the vag vagina story. Well, Perez Hilton was it about that? Well, Perez Hilton is mad because someone's going. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Listen to this. I don't know if you guys uh, go to Perez Hilton, but he really makes fun of the celebrities big time. He 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 draws. Uh, Male parts in their faces, and and he draws like co coming out of everybody's nose. Yeah, like he is. <laughs> that guy is edgy. Oh, he's as edgy very, as they come. Edgy. But but Jimmy, listen, what? So somebody so, somebody started a website or something and went after Perez Hilton and and uh, what what's the story? They they're so, see, they said something defamatory about Perez, and so he is suing them for defamation of character. Yeah. I'm like, excuse me, you're. Well, that's all he does all day long. So we were talking about that on the show. Like, he has any right? Like, first of all, if you, you, know, if you have to dish it, you have to take it. I make fun of celebrities all the time. If somebody's gonna make fun of me. 
then they're going to make fun of me. You have to deal with it. And uh, he's just whatever. He's a little douche, and he's so used to just trashing people with impunity because everybody's like, oh, don't get on Perez's bad side. Oh, I know. And that's that's exactly right. It's like, why? 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 Because he's going to make who cares? He's disgusting. (laughs) But don't get on Perez like he's the president or something. Yeah, he's just a sissy with bad hair and a weight problem who's not as attractive (laughs) as he would like to be. I know. He's really kind of gross. It's awful. We had him on the show once, I think, in the beginning of the show. I had him on as an interview, so it's glad to see that he appreciates that. <laughs> uh, Miss California catches heat for not liking gay marriage. This is a biggie mm. today. Your question comes from judge number eight, Perez Hilton. Are we worried? Perez Hilton was a judge for Perez the Hilton Miss California contest. That guy is good. He stinks. Oh no! Oh, he gets to the bottom of it. God, yeah. does he stink? What the hell? Who's a Perez Hilton fan? I am. No one's no hands up. Oh, Jimmy's Come hand on. is up. You can't even fake it. This guy stinks. <laughs> what would Tyler Durden do way better than, than Perez's dump site? Uh, WWTDD.com. Is this the contest itself? I don't know, um, uh, Anthony. Like, I don't know what clip we're hearing. Are we hearing a clip from the contest? Supposedly from the actual, um, yeah, Miss California so she, contest. Oh, so she's being asked a question. Yeah. Did she end up being crowned Miss California? I don't know. Let's find out. All right. Your question comes from judge number eight, Perez Hilton. Are we worried? You should be. <laughs> Vermont recently became the fourth state to legalize same-sex marriage. Do you think every state should follow suit? Why or why not? Well, I think it's great that Americans are able to choose one or the other. Um, We live in a land that you can choose same-sex marriage or opposite marriage. And you know what? In my country and in, in, in my family, I think that I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there, but that's how I was raised, and that's how I think that it should be between a man and a woman. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, I, 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 I'm... Right. I guess I'm for gay marriage, but what's wrong with her nothing, saying? Nothing what's wrong, wrong with her that. saying? No, that. there was nothing. nothing wrong with that. She's Miss California running for Miss USA. This was a Miss USA contest. She's Miss California, and that was her opinion. I thought and, she was uh, going to really. She was digging in. That's like uh, perfectly that's, a, acceptable. that's that's an opinion of uh, yeah. maybe the majority of this country still. He well, asked her and she answered. When old Perez Hilton gave the question, it seemed like 10% of the population of the audience applauded. Yeah. Uh, and the, when she gave hers, uh, it got a little more applause. So, I yeah. am. I have. Um, How important is the cock? I'm just watching Larry King uh, talking to Perez Hilton. What? Why is he interviewing that fucking worthless fucking blogger? Which is what he is. Yeah. He's huge for. Wow. What, holy what shit. Reason? Wow. We. <laughs> is that her? <laughs> yeah. Fuck a duck. God. Look at the legs oh on this bitch. God. Give me a break. You know what? Fuck gay marriage. I'm for whatever this girl's for. Whatever she wants. <laughs> Look at how they make these girls dance and shit. Wow. In little bikinis and skirts. What was this on? Yeah, well, how did we miss this? Why the I'm fuck always is- tuning around going, there's nothing on. I gotta watch Aliens again. <laughs> Why wasn't I watching this? <laughs> Holy shit. How did they get this, Danny? You gotta help the, the <laughs> audience. Sh- Look at that fucking ass. Well, you can just these white bikinis. They they have all the contestants wearing. You can just point your browser Fantastic. over to that terrific site that I go to on a daily basis, PerezHilton.com. Uh, 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 prominently uh, uh, hosted uh, on the very tippity top of this page. Did she wind up winning? No. I don't know. Who won? She was, uh, I think, Miss Car- North Carolina. Punch up Miss North Carolina. She better be Look, the hottest fucking thing. They're saying that that question cost her the competition. No shit. Why, though? She's Why? a babe. That's bullshit. Ah, uh, political yeah. correct judge bullshit. The audience if Perez was Hilton applauding. is a judge, the audience don't vote. She was Perez nice, Hilton fucking votes. And he probably gave her a zero score uh, because uh, something tells me he's a little effeminate. And they started attacking her on his blog. Of course like, he did. That's where all the controversy. That's the one that won. He's yeah, real. Gonna, he's I'm real brave. brave. He asked yeah, her a question. Let's get a body shot of that bitch. She nicely gave her opinion. She didn't say anything nasty about gay people. She gave her opinion after was asked. It's like you. you I don't even agree with her, but you can't shit on her for that. 
I thought she was going to say something that was outrageous or edgy. It's like, yeah. like I said earlier, it's a, it's an opinion that a lot of people well, yeah. believe. I like in. the California chick better than this one. Yeah. What Let's, was her question? What easy fucking softball question they throw her? Yeah, that's Probably a good question. about, I don't know, the world being starving or hungry. Global warming. Yeah, world hunger. How would you fix it? Well, I think we ought to give more money to world <laughs> hunger. Shut up. I think men Shut your ass, dummies. <laughs> Open your ass. Shut your mouth. <laughs> right. <laughs> men should dip their penises in honey and feed other men. I agree. <laughs> blog, 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 blog. <laughs> Uh, well, we got <laughs> blog swallow, blog swallow. <laughs> Good news, everyone. Uh, we got Perez Hilton on Larry King, so this is going to be terrific. Oh, great. How important is... Let's hear how irrelevant Larry is. Perez and Larry King. Larry, this is Sam's writing, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, Larry gets to the bottom of what's going on through a series of hard-hitting questions. Yeah, <laughs> hard-hitting. That means there's not one hard-hitting question, right, Sam? No, that's incorrect. It <laughs> speaks for itself. All <laughs> righty. We welcome Perez Hilton. Is it fair to bring... Why did you bring this into the pageant? <laughs> Why did you bring this into the pageant? I don't know, because it's uh, the top news story every day, Larry. No, he means he means Perez's godless lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was given the opportunity on this national platform to ask a question that I thought was it's relevant. It's not about you, and you given fucking the asshole. It's about hot babes marching around in their bathing suits. And uh, not to bring your fucking uh, uh, agenda to a stupid girly contest. What an idiot this guy is. And why is he... Fuck him. Why is he judging a girly contest? Yeah. Yeah, he, he knows nothing about girlies. We know about girlies. Let, uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That California girl should have won. And I haven't seen the other 49, 50 other ones if they include Puerto well, Rico. Are they still including that in Miss USA? Well, and, and I got good news for you. Luke yeah. in Buffalo. Luke. Luke. Hey, Luke. 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 Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. How are you? Luke. Luke. Not bad. Uh, I just want to tell you guys. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> What's up, Luke? <laughs> it's, it's, it's freaking gorgeous. It's delicious. You got to check it out on NBC.com. Oh, yeah? Wait, so what's up on NBC.com? You can watch the whole swimsuit competition if you want, the preliminary or whatever they got. Uh, whoa. And uh, Luke says Miss Vermont is the hottest. Oh, yeah? So we're going to take a look at Miss Vermont. Thank you, Luke. Even in the top five, but, you know. All right. Thank you. Back to Larry King. Question that I thought was relevant, and given the recent setbacks and advances that we've made in the fight for gay marriage, I thought it was a very important question for me specifically to ask. Was she like a finalist? Were they down to like? It was three? down to the top five, and she was definitely either the front runner or one of the top two contenders. Oh. She wound up what runner up? Runner up. Did you think that it hurt her? Absolutely. And I think Shut a lot up. of the judges did. Go fuck yourself. I Chris can't Hilton. stand this fucking guy. I don't mind him asking her that. Oh, no, stop. I don't mind a guy asking a question that he thinks is socially relevant, but I don't like him attacking on the blog because he's such a snotty little bitch. Dude, it's his agenda that he used to undermine this fucking girl, yeah. uh, and, and it worked. Mm -hmm. If he's the judge and he doesn't personally like the fucking answer, it's not if you personally like the answer. It's how you feel she answered the question. You're not supposed to. I don't know how they fucking judge. God damn, you are you making a great point? But it's not based on if you like her answer or not. It's how well she answered it and how she presents herself. Right, and uh, she did it well because I've seen some of these morons really trip over their uh, over their tits uh, yeah, over, over over these questions. So if he's a judge, you're right. He, she didn't answer it the way he wanted it answered. His so personal now next thing you know, she loses the, the the competition. Yeah, she handled that question very well. What a tool. God, was she hot? Yeah, I think that's why I'm so upset. <laughs> right in the shitter, right? Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> Tongue first, <laughs> little car wash. Dive right in there, car wash. I would do the car fuck wash. Fuck that exhaust pipe <laughs> wash. <laughs> fuck the rest of the car, right up the old tailpipe. <laughs> that's where I'm going. <laughs> Perez, Spend some time there. Perez says Miss USA shouldn't be politically correct. Yeah. What? Uh, what is right? Perez says Perez mistyped that should be. Oh, should be politically correct. Yes. Says Miss USA should it's be politically correct. That's what it okay. Okay. That what a douchebag. After she was done during the commercial break, I could tell by the look in her face that she knew she had lost because of that answer, because it was a bad answer. Why was it bad if it was honest? 
Honest. Hey, Larry. You know, Larry actually. Fucking hey, Larry. Larry actually you woke up. Larry woke up for this fucking interview. Larry went, I, I think it's 1988 again. I feel like I could ask a pertinent question. Damn, Larry. Now I know why you're on CNN. It's like this guy wanted to undermine this fucking girl, and he's proud of the fact mm -hmm. that his fucking agenda, literally his fucking agenda, uh, brought this girl uh, down. What's the matter? Too pretty? Was she too pretty for you? You don't like pretty girls because good-looking guys like pretty girls? You fuck. Ugh. I do hate this guy. Yes, I hate him. Yeah, he's a douchebag. You know, I have um, one gay couple that I'm friends with. Boom! Ooh. They were at the wedding, actually. Really? And oh. not every gay couple believes in the gay marriage. Uh, one of the two says, what's the big fucking deal? I don't give a shit. Hmm. And says that they get everything they, they need. Without being married. It sounds like uh, what a lot of straight couples think, too. You ask one of them, and they're like, I don't fucking care. Right. I don't want to get married. Right. And the other one's like, well, maybe I would. So it's not even about, like, you know, every every gay couple out there going, rah, rah, we need to be married. This particular couple that I am friends with, I have no problem admitting it, they they think it's, it's horse shit. Your life's like a sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> you got all the characters. I know. Now that I'm pushing for you, I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll have an open mind and have pushing gay friends. Wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> but that's it, though. That's it. That's my quota. I can. <laughs> You're done. You're full up. It, it's fine until, you know, they snuggle on the couch to watch a movie with me and oh, my girl. They, 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 they feel comfortable enough yet where they're um, uh, showing public displays of affection in front of you? Well, I'll... Uh, well... We were invited. Let's, let's up, finish the clip. <laughs> we were invited up to uh, uh -oh. to their mountain house Oof. for a uh, a sleepover. Wow! And the ride up. You were invited. Yes, uh, probably. <laughs> that nasty wife of yours. No, they. <laughs> she could just drop you off. They, they, <laughs> she could. <laughs> they actually. Why is your brother on TV? You got to see his face. Oh, <laughs> oh my, God. Yeah, my brother almost looks black. That's a black version of Brother that is Joe. Black Joe. That's Joe with uh, a tan. I'll say this much. So, you know, I was kind of uncomfortable to go up there for the night and stuff, and did dinner, drinking wine in the back. All that stuff was fine. I had no problem with any of it. Uh oh. And and, and you find your line, and it was when uh, I don't even remember what movie it was. <laughs> When the one like leaned back into the other, that's when I went. Oh. <laughs> that's ah, that was it so for me. To take as that a was, guy, right? That was it for me. Yeah. Like, I mean, they they they, they didn't do any hand holding or any kissing. You could but tell just a little, but you could tell they really love each other, right? Something you'd never do with one of your friends. <laughs> no. And then we settled in to watch a movie, and the one guy sitting there, and the other guy kind of like you know leaned back into the other guy's chest, and like. <laughs> All right, this is it. That's my line. This is where it gets uncomfortable for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everything else was fine though. I I, I was I was fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> but wow, but, that is yeah. But but uh, too what? No no no. Oh I mean, sorry. I shouldn't say but in this oh, conversation. Sorry. But um, they don't. They're not fans of the gay marriage. No. And I was surprised by that. I'm like, I I would just assume every gay couple would be like, yes, let's you know we have to support this. They're like, fuck yeah. that. We get, we get benefits, and if I'm sick, he can come to the hospital and all that crap. And we got insurance and regular sex. Yeah. It, it is fun, though. <laughs> it, it, I saw your face. Jesus. Can it we is, have a mature <laughs> a mature discussion for 30 seconds? It, it Good luck fun. with that. I know. I know a couple of gay comedians, and it is fun. Like uh, playing would you with them, would you? like about certain guys. Like if a waiter comes over, I'm like, would you fuck them? Like, really? Oh, yeah, it's fun because I, I don't know exactly what they look for. What their their, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And uh, what about? Did you ever ask about yourself? No, um, oh. no, I know. You figured them sucking your dick was enough of an answer? <laughs> no, I know one's into Asians, so he wouldn't. Yeah. And the one who helped me decorate my apartment, uh, the he fucks chicks too, I think, but he's more into guys. Uh, I, I don't Jesus. think he would. Don't go mucking up the fucking, uh... What's weird in my... Selection we got. What's weird in my case, I don't even look at them like they're looking at me... Not at all. ...in a weird way, or... I don't think any of that. They're just... They're just... They're they're two guys that are pretty cool in my world. His fucking... I don't get... I mean, the, uh, the leaning back was very yeah. uncomfortable. I have to admit that, but... When I'm hanging out with them, I'm I'm like I don't think that they're checking me out at all. If they oh, are, they, they are. They are. 
My friend's boyfriend was an 11. Like, I know, I, I, even I wanted to fuck him, I had no shot. It was almost like, it was so, the guy he was banging, it was like it was like a guy off a fucking magazine cover, so it's like, I, I'm not homophobic like that. Yeah. And it was so funny, we were talking about, like, getting a guy to help design a desk for my apartment, just like two years ago. And In the shape of a dick? <laughs> yes. Everything no, was, everything was cock-shaped. <laughs> you had two big ball drawers. <laughs> I... I, I <laughs> we were talking about some designer, some pretty oh. well-known designer in New York. Uh, who, who I'm like, who is, we were going to try to get some advice from. The guy charges a lot of money mm -hmm. to even consult. Ooh. So he's like, I could call him and ask him. And I'm like, well, do you know him? He goes, oh, I shot a load on his face so big it pulled up in his eye. I'm like, oh, uh, no <laughs> shit. Okay, yes, you do know him. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, that's not even as uncomfortable as the leaning against the no, chest. The leaning was rough. <laughs> again, again, the hardcore porno stuff isn't even disturbing. He fucking blasted the guy's eyes shut and wanted to call for <laughs> advice. And I heard him talking on the phone about me and my awful taste. And he has shades. Oh. I don't know. I told him. You know, it's really funny. <laughs> him bashing me. I got one more quick story about these two. I we invited them to the wedding and stuff, and you know, you make the rounds. And uh, <laughs> I went to their table near the end of the night, so they had a nice buzz going on. Oh. And n now they're pointing people out in the room. That ah. I, and I know all of them. Obviously, there's brothers, mostly brothers and cousins, and they're like, "Who's that guy?" Like, "Oh, that's my." I don't even want to say which brother because you know. Oh, oh that's my brother blank. Ooh! Oh, oh like, they started oh loosening up a bit. And then my uh, has to be Quinn. Has yeah. to be. Yeah, it was. Has yeah. to be. <laughs> 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 yeah, was. Yeah, was. <laughs> they were a big fan of Quinn. Of course they were. And then my uh, my cousin Patrick got a biggie. Yeah. Oh, they got a big ooh. And I'm like, dude, stop! This is too much. I always, yeah. I'm, I'm able to say, look, this is too much. Yeah, slow down. Slow down. This is my. my that's my, my brother. Fam family that's my guy. cousin. Yeah. Oof. But they were working the room, like, just looking at all of them. <laughs> uh, let's go to Brian in Texas. Brian. Brian. Good evening. Hey. Ah. <laughs> hey, uh, Obi, Minnie, did you say that your friends who happened to be gay had a mounting house? What was that? <laughs> no. It's, it's a, a mountain house. Mountain house, oh, not oh, a yeah, mountain right. house. A mounting house. <laughs> Look at him violating. Here he goes. <laughs> All right, Jesus. <laughs> it's so hard to be mature on this show. Hmm. Uh, the rest of the clip. So Perez says Miss USA should be politically correct. That's where we were. Because it was a bad answer. Why I, is it bad if it was honest? Honesty is great. However, in an interview this morning, she said that the audience and the judges expected her to be politically correct. You want to know what? Yes. I do expect Miss USA to be politically correct. Do we want a Miss USA that's politically insensitive, that's politically offensive? No. So I didn't Paul disagree with that. Do you see what a fucking an phony Holy shit. fucking jerk off this guy is? It's not about you, want, you, you asshole. What's the matter, jerk off? You want to be able to draw little cum stains on people's faces? Yeah. And you want to be able to be honest and express yourself through your humor. Right. But she can't be honest when asked and express herself? He makes me fucking sick. Without him having to fucking uh, uh, ruin her chances. Oh, this guy is just a fucking what a little asshole. Bitch. He is a little bitch. Especially, like... <sighs> Because he's saying he wants her to be politically correct, and he wants to be able to do it, and I'm not running for Miss USA, well, then you shouldn't be involved. Why are you involved in the process? Yeah, why if she should she be politically correct, her? shouldn't that process have such integrity that a guy that draws little cum bubbles on people yeah. has no part in the voting process? Mm -hmm. How the fuck are you involved in it if it's an integrity-filled event, jerk-off? God, I love you, Jim. How is he on I that? hate this fucking guy. How was he on that show? Was it on NBC? Yeah, it was on NBC. It was a Trump show. It was on NBC. How did they? How because, did they let this fucking? Because he's he's a he's a yeah, big star. For what? I don't know. Big star. He's, he's a big blogger that became. Uh, he's extremely huge. offensive. Why would a network uh, let him on there? He's a douchebag. Exactly. Yeah. What, what, why all of a sudden politically correct? What what does he sh what does he do to push that agenda? Yeah. Other than and fucking make little snarky come. Ah, I got it. He's a douchebag. She answered the question honestly. Yeah. But his gay agenda. Won't allow him to just take that answer at face value, at fucking splooge on his face value. So now this chick that you know doesn't win the competition probably because Hot of as him. fucking hell. Because she answers so ridiculous in a way that I don't even agree with her. I think answer. even my gay friends would like to uh, <laughs> oh. bang her. Yeah, but she shouldn't be Miss USA. She answers in a way 
that reflects the majority of the country's feelings. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People want to know how Steve afforded a mountain house on his salary. <laughs> uh, Sean in North Carolina. Jim, did Steve decorate your house? What? What happened? I, I, I was still looking at my pictures God. of God. Danny popped up a picture. That's you know not what her. That? No, I don't care who Who's the that? fuck that is. That's uh, Is that Miss Vermont? No, that's, that's Miss, Miss Teen USA. <laughs> Holy <laughs> years ago. Shit. <laughs> You cannot tell me. She's got to be 18, right? Uh, not in that photo. What? <laughs> How old is she? For real. Come on. Holy mother of Christ <laughs> on a pony. <laughs> um, hang on. Let me just make sure I got my facts straight here. Look at her <laughs> fucking tits. Stop, Stop it. I'm good at okay. this. She's well, 16 she was, years old. No, no. She, and she was, uh, she was Miss Teen USA 2006. She was 18. Her name is Katie Blair. Katie Blair She's rules. delicious. Dude. Look at the fucking camel toe in that green bikini bottom. Let me see it, buddy. Look at the supple bosom. You know what? The bosom's wow. a little saggy for eighteen. What? For eighteen? No, saggy. they got the weight to them uh, yeah. in that bikini top. Maybe the bikini top's a little tight because they're pushing them down a little bit. A little talk, bit. A little bit. You talking shit about her? <laughs> <laughs> NBC invited <laughs> Perez on purpose to make this happen. You know, oh, is that it? Good for Miss California, though, because now everyone knows about Miss California. Yeah, that's true. Most of these pageant uh, broads just go away and you never hear from them. You're right. Who knows about so fucking I, the winner? I bet you this one uh, will do very well for herself now. Yeah. Miss Vermont, and Vermont is such a politically correct state, too. Yeah. Um, but she was. I, she gave a nice answer. She didn't say that they're assholes or godless people. She said, I, I, this is the way I was raised. Yeah. So she the told raised, the truth. Mm -hmm. Both is good, but I personally, uh, yeah. I'm into this, and I think blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then that idiot probably gave her a fucking zero. Here's the the last uh, part of the clip. Hey, that's politically insensitive? That's politically offensive? No. So I didn't disagree with her uh, not believing in the right for gays and lesbians to be equal under the law. I disagree with how she answered the question, because Miss USA should be all-inclusive. No. no, that's not that's not what fucking you're not including ugly girls in the fucking yeah. contest. Asshole. Exactly. Shut up. Where's Trump? I don't know. To Trump's tell you thing? the truth. Trump should have stepped in. I don't know what Miss USA should represent. I I really don't give a flying fuck. Re she but, represents but the hot chick. I would think, yeah, she represents the hot chick and she doesn't have to represent every fucking group out there. Right. And Keep be all inclusive to shit that she doesn't fucking. She's being open and honest. What is she, a robot? That she's supposed to be programmed to like everything and everybody uh, that she bumps into? Keep the politics out of it. Fuck off, Perez Hilton. What an asshole. And yeah. NBC owns half of half the, the contest. contest. NBC, by the way, uh, MSNBC uh, uh, fired Imus over his offensive comment. Uh, mm -hmm. Yet they let this fucking offensive... I find this guy... <sighs> Offensive. Way I more personally offensive find him I offensive. Miss. Way more offensive than uh, that. Why, why, why is NBC uh, putting him on? Ugh. All right. Good. There you go. God, that's, I that's hate that he gets airtime everywhere for this. New story or fun? Fun. But new story could turn into fun. It did last time because Danny kept bringing up pictures of hot girls. That's the best thing ever. It really... Hot uh, girls rule. Miss Teen USA is the best. It really is a great contest. Oh, oh by the way, um, show me another one. Let me. Let's look at the chicks from this year. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hold, hold that. Hold that for one second. I want to get Crystal on the on the line because I know we'll get distracted by the the snitch. Uh, Crystal in Staten Island. Hey, how you boys doing? Happy birthday, Jimmy. Hello, Crystal. Oh. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you, Opie. Uh, it seems that like nobody's calling in to ask. I'm really curious. Did you guys actually go to Brokeback Mountain? Oh, yeah. was the mountain yeah. retreat on well, Brokeback Mountain? Yeah, what? and also, actually, really quick, also, um, did the boys snuggle up to a Java log? Java logs? Yeah. Any Java logs? No Java logs. And um, it wasn't Brokeback uh, Mountain? No. Any spitting in the hand uh, <laughs> no. prior to an assault in a tent? <laughs> I'll tell you this much. When the whole... Mountain House, oh, <laughs> when the whole Mountain House visit came up, yeah, there was a discussion that I never saw Brokeback Mountain. And they're oh. like, oh, when you guys come to visit, we're going to have, we have to Dude, see Brokeback Mountain. if you're sitting in a room Dude. with two gay guys watching Brokeback Mountain, I'm telling you. Is that you. the movie that was on? No, it didn't happen. Oh, okay. You have to you have to draw the line. Yes, you sometimes you have to draw the line. You can't be all in with gay friends. 
I'm all in. You can be all in with your friends. Well, I'm balls deep. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, think, think of your friends in your in, in your in your world. You're yes. all in for the most part, unless sure. they're mainlining heroin or whatever. But True. for the most part, you're all in. Yeah. Gay friends, you you got yeah, you got those lines. You got a line because you know. I go. I yeah. I can't I can't sit there and watch Brokeback Mountain with you guys. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way. The, there, there are some moments you'd probably they'd probably be looking over at you to <laughs> yeah. see your reaction when, yeah. when fucking Jillian Hall gets it up the ass in, in the front tent. Of your sweats. Yeah. <laughs> Give you the tent, the tent test. The tent, yeah. <laughs> Which is where one of them walks by and flicks the front of your sweatpants, tries to you <laughs> flick your little peeny. Sees if it goes back and forth like a windsock. <laughs> uh, oh Christ. <laughs> yeah. And Miss California, I don't want to let this stupid Perez Hilton story go yet. Nah, dude. This guy is infuriating me by making it all about himself. That's what he did. That's what he did. And, but they allowed it. I'm more pissed off, I think, at Trump for allowing this. Yeah, well, he doesn't care. He just wants to see... Uh... It's Trump's pageant or not really? I know NBC kind of... Yeah, it is. It, it is. He just wants to... Uh... Get as many viewers as possible, so that's what he does. And Miss California is uh, now defending herself on the Today Show. We got that audio. Mm. She's basically saying she didn't realize how many gay people there were out there. Now she's kind of backtracking a little bit, but it's like you answered the question honestly. Yeah, she did a fine job. She. Just I think just the gay community would now. even admit that. Like, you know, all right, maybe we don't agree with what no. she said, but uh, she answered the question honestly, and that's all it was about. I don't think the gay community would agree. What? To tell you the truth. What do you think they're uh, on Perez Hilton's side? Yeah, that's oh, too, yeah. That's the too, gays are that's too very, bad. The gays are very. Um, no, I'm not saying about they. They know how to get behind each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's you, <laughs> you. don't think they have an open mind enough to mind? To, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do gay jokes now for the whole. But you don't think they have an open mind to realize that she answered the question honestly, even though maybe they don't like the answer she gave? That no. seems to be the problem. No. What the fuck is wrong with everybody? Gays are um um. Uh, at least the ones you see in the press, in the media, defending gayness, are very, um, surprisingly enough, intolerant. Very intolerant as to other people's opinions on gay. It's weird. You'd think they would understand what intolerance is Every and maybe learn from it, but uh, they don't like other people having ideas. Every uh, group is intolerant. That's, I, yeah, that's, that is true. It's like every the, group. And that's the biggest problem with our society. Every group fighting for tolerance is th very intolerant. <laughs> well, we had the uh, the Rick Ross interview that Sam did, and he's calling uh, 50 Cent a monkey and stuff. And I'm thinking, a white dude does that. Oh, my he God. He's so fired. And shot. Yeah, yeah well, true. Well, yeah, it would, <laughs> that would be a major problem. Yep. But then I get confused. I'm like, well, if he's saying monkey, then why can't Whitey say monkey? Why can't we all say the same shit is what I'm saying? I don't know. Was that's, he using it as a slur, you think, or just like as a... No, but... You're but, saying he was ugly. Yeah. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. If you said that, yeah, let's just use it in that term. If you said it uh, to describe someone's ugliness. Yeah. Like they did in what? Sanford and Son was the big line? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was... Uh, gorilla uh, cookies. Gorilla cookies. Right. If Aunt Esther ought to sma slam her face into dough... And make gorilla cookies. That's what Red Fox said. Which is it's hysterical. It's a brilliant line. But oh, of a, course it a is. A white comedian does that. Fired. Yeah. Yes. Fired back then. Fired today. Yeah. I think we should all just be able to say the same shit. Well, that's the uh, age-old uh, problem, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're not allowed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we sit here and uh, walk on eggshells. It's amazing. It's so ridiculous. We can only do whitey jokes. Yeah. Stupid whitey. White people are stupid. Well, Donald Trump finally uh, breaks silence on uh, the Miss California thing. Finally. Oh, he did? And man, is this Perez Hilton milking this fucking yeah. th thing. People love this shit. Huh? People love this shit. What's Donnie? Well, Donnie Trump. Donnie Trump should have came out immediately, but now, you know, days later when it doesn't matter, he's finally he breaking wanted to silence. Milk it. The owner of the Miss Universe franchise finally addressed the scandal surrounding his Miss USA pageant on Fox News Thursday, saying that he has received thousands of calls and letters, the majority of which support Miss California's comments on gay marriage. She yeah. didn't agree with the gay marriage, but I think people are supporting the fact that she answered the question honestly. Yeah, she told the truth. Uh, many have argued that the answer cost uh, pre-jean, pre, pre was her name? Preteen what? 
Pre-Gene. <laughs> Is that how you say your name? Pre-Gene Pre the Crown. But Trump disagreed, <laughs> so congratulating Dalton and saying that she deserved to win. But Trump defended uh, Pre-Gene as well, disagreeing with Perez Hilton's assertion that it was the worst answer in the history of the Miss USA uh, pageant. douchebag. He's an asshole. It wasn't the worst answer ever. No, she worst told the answer. truth. It was a bad answer because it, it, it wasn't the answer you were hoping she was going to you know, give, but she answered it honestly. I'm sorry. Who wouldn't be all yeah. over that? Huh? Really Perez. Give me a... F yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the nerve of her to be honest and offend his... But that's why, again, and I know people are sick of hearing me saying that, but that's just why I hate a certain political ideology in this country. Because I hate the people associated with it. Yeah. Uh, and Trump said pretty much what we've been saying the last few days. Miss California has done a wonderful job. That was her belief. It wasn't a bad answer. That was simply her belief. Trump added that pre uh question was a bit unlucky, arguing that no matter how she answered the question, she was going to get killed. Yeah. That's true, too. Unlucky. It was that's so like calculated. A, that's like asking about abortion or something. Yeah, yeah, it's not unlucky. It was a calculated question that uh, a, a stupid Perez Hilton thought uh, he would throw out there to, uh, to fuck somebody and then made it about himself yep and he's uh, he's video blogging about it and all that yeah maybe we could find that video blog where he then trashes her uh, even more oh good yeah milk it he's a douchebag <laughs> a douchebag oh, oh, bye. Uh, Perez Hilton blogging about you oh boy fucking shut up asshole the shit he does on his website and yeah, he's like, draw little cum bubbles. Very funny. What a creative guy. Yeah, so, draws cum bubbles and, uh, and 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 coke shit and yeah. There's a picture of Will Will Ferrell and it says Will Ferrell drinks his own urine, and it's got little drips coming out of Will Ferrell's mouth. And on the on the shirt he wrote, "I like pee pee." <laughs> pee pee. Wow, that's a fu what a funny cutting edge social satire uh, guy he is. What a satirist. Yeah, that's offensive. It doesn't even bother me. It's just he's just a. It's like he's not a funny guy. It's no. like you're not a funny dude. He goes after like celebrities' kids and says how ugly they are. I think yeah. he went after Adam Sandler's kid, who's like just a a little thing that doesn't deserve the attention. And yeah. not only does he, you know, uh, he points out this kid, but says how ugly it is. Yeah, yeah. And he goes. Isn't after... that offensive, Perez Hilton? Yeah, Bruce Willis's kid rumor he makes fun of a lot. Yeah. Right. I. I mean, it's very hypocritical. Yeah. It's like, why would you be, when all you're doing is shitting on somebody's kid? Uh, here's one there, Jimmy. You want to describe this one on the uh, Perez Hilton oh, site? Justin Timberlake and who's the girl? Uh, Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel, they're both holding microphones. And Perez, because he's funny, painted little dick and balls instead of the microphones. And it says, we heart to, and he wrote sing and then crossed it out, make out. It's like, I kind of get what he's going for. Like, you're, he's just like a little boy writing little boy things. But it's not ironic or funny. It's just corny. No. It's like you're a fucking, you're a fucking cornball. God, this guy. Uh... What an over. The fact that this jizz bucket has any fucking attention paid to him is just nauseating. I wouldn't mind if they were fucking funny or really vicious remarks, but you're just a cornball. Yeah, I, I guess I, America likes cornballs. We're just trolling through. No, the celebrities website like him. Those... Looking for his stupid comments that he writes. Well, they got a lot of people checking out that website for what reason? I don't really know. Because I guess they like the celebrity gossip. But isn't there a million places you go for that? And I'll tell you why. Because Hollywood is full of dumb motherfuckers. They think that he's edgy. Yeah, this guy's dangerous. There's some cum coming out of Donald Trump's mouth. Oh, and then a big dick on uh, John Mayer. With cum coming out of boys, he's just fascinated with man's cum, isn't he? But he's just a fucking like it's, he has like three things he draws and they're fucking awful. Yeah, they're awful. He does the coke thing, I think. Stuff coming out of people's noses, stuff coming out of people's cocks. Yeah, he loves that. Loves the cock. oh, does he love the stuff coming out of men's cock? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but then he tries to be a so then he tries to be socially poignant. But Miss California didn't give the right answer. <sighs> well, why don't you be socially poignant in the one thing that made you famous, fucking douchebag, which is your website? You're not poignant. Why don't you, why don't you prove that you, you have these brilliant, insightful points you want to make? Yeah. What, what, it's, it's, it's only time to be real there. How come you're not being real or serious on your site? You're painting a bunch of dicks. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, it makes me sick. Yeah. I, saw, I stopped going to uh, Perez Hilton's uh, site when he started reporting on himself. Every day, he'd, right. he'd report a story about himself, and I'm like, this, I don't go to the site to read about Perez Hill. I go, I want to know about right. celebrity 
Yeah, drunkenness. That's why you go to what would Tyler Durden? Yeah, do? w, w- WWTDD. Yeah, we like oh, that man. guy. WWT. He's a fan too. He's a cool guy. Yeah, he's all right, man. Uh, yeah, you're right. Perez Hilton was the man behind the curtain and then decided he has to be in front of the curtain. It's got to be so, about him. So it fucks up the whole reason why his uh, website was popular. He's the fucking wannabe. He's one of those guys who couldn't, he's got no ability to be famous. Um, and he just did this thing that these dumb celebrities kind of thought was like really edgy. And like, oh, this guy's kind of. There's, uh, there's a long list of. Yeah. There's, there's a long list of Perez Hiltons that have come and, you know, and gone. Mm-hmm. And he's one of them. He'll. he'll He'll be really popular on the radar for maybe another year, and then you'll never hear from him again. Bye bye. And then he goes away. I'm telling ah, you. Ah, Perez Hilton's crying. Wow. Wow. A lot of exposure, but this is going to fuck him over in the end. Look at him. Fucking oh, guy what's can't matter? take it. What's, you, the matter? what's the matter? You draw jism coming out of people's <laughs> mouths on your site, and you're surprised he got punched? Right. And you yet, fucking asshole. He, he's, he's a fan of drawing cocks all over the pictures that he puts he up is. there. And, and little, like, dribbles coming from people's noses because they, allegedly they're into their drugs and their cocaine yeah, yeah. and shit. And then someone finally calls you out and punches you in the face, and you can't take it. Fuck, Fuck off. I got to hear this guy, man. I didn't, I didn't all right, we can do that. We got it right here, right? Sam, yeah, what do yeah. we got? Well, here's what went down. Oh. Perez Hilton was with Lady Gaga at Lady the Much Gaga. Yes, at the Much Music Awards in Canada. Dude, if 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 I hear that fucking poker face, by the way, my, my video's time. up, by the way. Is yours uh is yours up? Oh no. I don't see um I don't oh. see Opie's. <laughs> let me let me hit mine here. <laughs> To see if uh, Anthony's competitive as a motherfucker. He's, yeah, he yeah. said, "Fuck Perez Hilton." I'm gonna show you this yeah. iPhone. It's beautiful. It's a brand new iPhone too. How about this? And, oh, and yeah. the old bold is comparable to this brand new fucking yeah. iPhone. <laughs> well, right. there it is. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, my video is taking a little longer because it's a much better oh, video. Oh, let me turn it <laughs> sideways so it's better. Oh wait. See, I go see it like that and small what? thing. Once you turn it, oh, there it wait, is. Wait, hey, you yeah. asked me if my video's up. Yeah. This is the replay, right? Yeah, it's up there. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. No. This is by the live part. I no, mean. see, we're in replay mode. See? No, we're not right now. <laughs> no, see. We are now. And, like, and, if you are listening. And honestly, but- when we when we did this live this morning, yeah, the video was up as well. <laughs> no, no. Now you're just fibbing. So? I'm competitive too, motherfucker. Uh, where are we at? <laughs> Right, so so Perez Hilton was there with Lady Gaga at the Much Music you know Awards. What motherfucker? What? What's I, going I, on? I'm bailing on Zanel. Fuck Zanel in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> what side it are you like using? Zanel. I'm using the frog one. No, Why you're not. Frog. Not for videos. Why frog? Yes, for videos. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? Yes, for the same one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were using that Twitterly twat. Twit. I was until I Furry realized thing. I could do the videos and they you, upload fast. You around. lied. You said you were doing something for videos earlier. What? Uh, no, I was using Twitterlator to upload it to the froggy. Uh, thing. Shit. Why oh, frog? Uh, we got to upgrade, Sam. Uh, you got to. We got to look at some admit, things. I will admit Fuck. defeat on my video. But not on the right. But you know what? By, by fucking noon today, I'll be upgraded to a much better fucking video server. Uh-huh. Oh. That's right. I still ain't sold. Oh, but, and, er- and E-Rock damn, sent me a I'm picture of, uh, of Patrice smiling. Oh, yeah? Nah, E-Rock. that's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. Stop it. Let me see. Oh, how long is this going to take? <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> how many buttons you got? Anthony, button? can you I like- see it on yours, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got a Blackberry. Oh, I, mean, I, I there, might brother. turn on Blackberry. I don't fucking know. You know what Opie is These with that Blackberry? These buttons are kind of loose, by the way. I don't <laughs> you know what Opie is with that Blackberry? You're like the woman behind the counter when you're trying to get an airline ticket. <laughs> and they're just going, type, 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 And you type, don't type. know what the fuck they're typing. <laughs> Half the shit they're typing like, is nonsense. It, it, t- it takes forever, and then they just click that one key going, click, click, click. So what are you doing? <laughs> I can't even get the Patrice picture because oh. <laughs> my, my fucking Jesus Blackberry Christ. is slow because it's still trying to upload my goddamn video. But thank God oh, your no. bosses could look at every email you send. Uh, no shit. <laughs> that's always not. That's a nice feature. It's their property. Yeah, Everything on it is what? their property. You know what? My you know iPhone, what? go fuck yourself. You'll never look <laughs> at what's on here. You know what? It's how you look at it, my friend, because I write I write a little jabs in every one of my emails just in yeah. case they're reading. Yeah. <laughs> how many pictures you got on that thing right now? What? Photos. I actually uh, had a. Uh, I didn't have to, but I. Oh, I, you had a what? No, no, no. I had, I had to oh, clean. No. I had to clean it up. I had like hundreds. Did you? Oh yeah, for real. Okay. No, you can. Come you to can, think of it, BlackBerry downloads get, um, fucking viruses too. For reals. 
for reals, yo? I don't know. Yeah, there's no no viruses on this. Uh, mm. They don't really. Mm. See, problem is everyone's, viruses everyone's hitting my Twitter right now, so it's making it really hard for oh, the is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, I figured that much. where are we at there, Sam? Let's <laughs> well, move on to this other fucking thing. Right, so the Much Music Awards in Canada, and uh, he Perez doesn't like the Black Eyed Peas' new album. Why? It's only, why? What did it he only say? Has, like the top two songs in America right now. So who did he draw with cum coming out of their ears and noses right. because he doesn't like the album? Right. Well, he said Fergie was Cut fugly. Second. Really? Yeah. See, if you're going to call someone fugly, you deserve to be punched in the face. Yeah. Hey, and then, you know, consequences. he's fugly. Really? I'm sure drawing a little bit of jizz on Will I Am and stuff like that. See? But he doesn't like this new album. He said nice things about those people before, but he doesn't like this album and he bashed it. Well, so uh, Why is he bashing an album that is like, as far as the pop world goes, is... Because Perezel doesn't like it. Perezel. So, uh, so then the Black Eyed Peas came up to him at this award show, and they were like, why are you stop doing this? Why are you, you know, insulting our album? And he was like, kind of like, I can do whatever I want. So finally, this is Perez. He, uh, he did a video blog where he explains that there was a confrontation after the Much Music Awards at one of the after parties between yeah. Will I Am of the Black Eyed Peas, the lead singer or rapper, mm-hmm. and uh, Perezel. This is really? It. Yes. Okay. I am making this video as Mario Lavandera. That is my legal name. What happened? Oh, uh, shut uh, the fuck uh, up. Uh, what did you say his name uh, was? Mario Lavandita or something like that. Okay. What a dramatic asshole. My legal name. What happened to me in Toronto happened to me as a human being, and it should not happen to anyone. Oh, wait, oh what about, but, but all the you things do. you do to these celebrities and, oh. and the celebrities' kids, by the way, They're that, that, that aren't, aren't even in yeah. the fucking business, right? Yeah, the whole thing with Adam Sandler. But they kid. deserve all that shit. What this did he do to Adam Sandler? Cunt. Adam Sandler's kid. Guy. He used to talk about how ugly Adam Sandler's kid was yeah. all the time. Oh, really? Did, yeah. did Adam Sandler's cunt. kid deserve that, considering Adam Sandler's so. kid's not in the business even? Not at all. Perez fucking Hilton? Happen to anyone. Violence is never the answer. Ah, it sure is Ed- when it's against you, you dummy. <laughs> ah, punch in the face. Good for you. If you're going to play that game, you've got to expect That's maybe some violence, idea. you idiot. My legal name is Mario Armando <laughs> <Lassiera>. <laughs> And I have something to say. <laughs> oh, God, but... Violence is never the answer. Gee, well, you know what? This is it for him. He's not going to be able to live past this. It's embarrassing. What, then he goes back to drawing his cum bubbles? Yeah, cum and people bubbles. are going to be like, oh, okay. And we... fucking big dicks in people's yeah. mouths and, people and things like that. People are just going to start punching him in the face everywhere out of here. Oh, man, this is it for yeah, him. Just punch him in the face yeah, to get publicity. Just punch him in the face. Yeah, in the end. Uh, once again, my name is Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I was hit again. Armando Lavandiara. <laughs> <laughs> I was punched the third time in a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think in the end, this destroys what he built up. Why, you think? Because he, now he can't go back to drawing cum bubbles and fucking big, huge fucking Why? cocks on the foreheads of Lindsay Lohan and whatnot. Because he, he lost all his credibility. Right, this loses his credibility. <laughs> he, he, he loses his cum bubble drawing <laughs> credibility. Because <Yeah, yeah. laughs> that's all he was good for. He's not saying anything interesting with his no. blogs. He, he was fucking, Now he can't take it. He was taking other people's pictures and drawing cum bubbles and shit. This is correct. So how does he go back to doing that, for real? With I've never pit. I've never ever seen it's this fucking website. It's, it's like a TMZ. Yeah, but you know, I heard thing. of him. Look, wear but, a condom. Look, show some of, uh, you know, the brilliance of Perez Hilton. It's, it's horrendous. He's a douchebag. Ever. Blood should never be drawn. Another person should never be hit. That's why people die. <laughs> what, what is he babbling wow. about? He was attacked. Yeah, oh, attacked. He's got to go hard at Black Eyed Peas on his website. Otherwise, he loses credibility. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't think he will. Like, if he doesn't, then all celebrities know, oh, I'll just go up and punch I'll this guy punch in his head. In the face <laughs> and he'll stop fucking <laughs> he'll stop talking drawing about cocks in my ass. <laughs> Uh, Perez explains his interaction with Will I Am. Who's right. Will I Am? I really don't know. He's Black the Eyed yeah, he's the no, head guy of the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, he's the head guy, and he's done. He does production for tons of people. He's okay. a big star. So he's he's one of the main guys. And all right, because I, I heard he was the manager. And he was an X, no, no, no. He was an X Men uh, origin, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he played was in uh, the cowboy hat. Yeah, he had played. Yeah, nice. cowboy hat. Okay. And as we were actually getting ready to leave, Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas comes into the club, sees me like a heat-seeking missile, and comes directly towards me. 
<laughs> into my mouth. Says, Gay yo, seeking missile. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to never write about my band on your website again. Right in my face, he was saying this. Yeah. And I was like, listen, I can't make any promises, but I'll try. He, and then he says, why are you disrespecting me? Why are you disrespecting me? And I was like, I'm not disrespecting you. And I did the whole spiel again that I gave Fergie. But it was honest. I told him, listen, you know, I love what you did with the Pussycat Dolls. I love the work that you also did with Fergie's solo album. He's like, oh. you need to respect <laughs> me. And at that point, in my mind, I was like, you know what? I am not going to let this man intimidate me. Uh -huh. And I told him, you know what? No, I don't need to respect you. I don't respect you. And that's when I... Uh, made the split second decision that I was going to say what I thought was the worst possible thing that thug would ever want to hear. He did not. I told him, and you know what? I don't oh. need to respect you, oh. and you're a fag. You're gay. <laughs> Stop being such a fag. And then I knew it was going to say, come on. But I didn't want to get into a fight with this person. So no. I left. We leave. Isn't it safe to say there's one other word that's a, that's worse in that scenario? Just a little worse. Wow, you're real brave, Perez. You, you couldn't even go all in. Took, yeah. Taking the slur that would offend Perez Hilton. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he yeah. would offend himself. Is he officially gay? Or officially, he's, so, yeah. Officially. He's super gay. Officially. <laughs> officially <laughs> yeah. super gay. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah. When you say yeah. your S's past seven minutes, <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking gay. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, so he got all brave and called him a fag. Yeah, wow, Perez. This is Miss Cal. This wow, is because the guy had a problem with what you were saying about yeah. him. Perez is the one who and do destroyed. You if, you, if you call someone a fag, guess what? You might just get punched in the face for that. Perez is the one who destroyed Miss California for not supporting gay marriage. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, right. There right. You go. So this is the same guy. Yeah. What a douche. Jesus. Always hated this fucking guy. I want this. My name uh, is uh, what's my name? Uh, Mario Armando <laughs> Lavagera. What's my name? And I need the FBI to investigate this hate crime. Uh, he looks like Ant. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Without his makeup. Fruit. Look at him. Fruit. Perez says Will's manager punched him. Yeah. So yeah. Will didn't even punch. No, but he said you know he implied that Will had something to do with it. We leave the club, and as soon as we leave, there's Will I Am again outside of the club. Then his manager, Polo. For the Ron and Fez fans, okay, yeah, let's acknowledge it. Sounds just like Fez. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's right. <laughs> and Ronnie outside. Hey. <laughs> And I did not once ever. <laughs> one ounce My name slack. is Fez Watley. <laughs> and I never got cut one ounce of slack. <laughs> I don't even know if I can play the clip now. Uh, uh. <laughs> we leave the club, and as soon as we leave... There's Will I Am again outside of the club. Then his manager, Polo, whom I have met before, from behind comes up to me, uh -oh. clocks me in the eye right here, and punches me two or three times. I am in shock. I do not know what to do. I touch my eye. And it was bleeding. I see my fingertips, and I'm bleeding. I think my eye might be falling out of my head. <laughs> I'm in up. shock. I'm, then, I'm, then I'm, you can I'm get carried away. Fucked. Everyone's trying to avoid a scene. So after this happened, we leave. And we go back to the hotel. And Will I Am followed us to the hotel. Which can, was, can I say something real quick? It's yeah, just, yeah. If, if the word <laughs> faggot didn't exist, <laughs> you would say it naturally. You would invent it listening to this motherfucker. Like, you would just go, shut the fuck up, faggot. Like, cause, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, it's grating, man. It's, it's fucking grating. It's shut the fuck up, bitch. What's wrong with this motherfucker, man? God John, John from North Carolina. We're making the same point. He's on the phone. He writes, uh, isn't his blogging considered provoking? Yes, that's what we're getting at. Of yeah. course. He provokes these guys like uh, like crazy. By the way, Perez Hilton was the one news source the, that uh, 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 talked about the Donald Trump buying Raw incident as if it was real. Oh, really? Yes. He told said it was a goodbye for Donald Trump. Oh, real. So that's where Perez Hilton's coming from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And we go back to the hotel, and Will I Am followed us to the hotel, 
which is where they were also staying. <laughs> at this point, I'm it's freaking you. out. Why do they just follow us outside of the club? I'm attacked. I'm bleeding. And they're following us back to the hotel. I called the police. What? Even though Gaga had a bodyguard, what if one of these people had a gun? Oh, stop it. So this whole thing broke. It's not like they carry gun. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing broke because... On Perez Hilton's Twitter, before any of this was posted, it just said things like, please help me, call the police for me. I'm at the hotel. What? What? So it, he's it, tweeting. It took less time to push 911. <laughs> he's yeah. tweeting for the police. He's trying to explain that because, well, I am. Why tweet the police instead of, or tweet that he needs the police instead of just calling? Instead he's of dickhead. calling 911. Because he's, he's fucking dickhead. looking for publicity. But oh, yeah. will I am put up a video Right away and said, uh, you know, first of all, he was tweeting. He was like, second of all, it wasn't – it was just some random fan that punched him. Like, Will I Am said ah. all this and some random guy punched Perez. Nice. And Perez said, no, it was Will I Am's manager. But how does he know? That's the dispute. Oh. He said he, it was definitely Polo. Uh, hold on. We got some uh, – we got uh, Kevin in Florida. Kevin. I'm just waiting for the part of the video where he – says that he sold crack cocaine in a limousine to Senator Obama. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like that guy. Crack cocaine for his use, powdered cocaine for mine. For mine. i got to remember that exact quote. I then had, had oral sex with Mr. Obama. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was in Gurney. Yeah, in Gurney. Right here in Gurney. We were in a hotel in Gurney. Gurney. Where are you uh, Perez explains what happened when he called police, then starts crying. Oh, no way. Oh, he starts crying big time. Oh, this rules. <laughs> what, what, what a fruit. <laughs> I called 911. I spoke to the police, and they explained to me <laughs> that, you know, they would try to make it, but that there were actual emergencies going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened when I called 911 because I had a flat tire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, excuse me. This right. is not Real. Fix it yourself. Right. But you I'm in the dummy. woods, and there's a guy yeah. with a mask, a hockey mask on. <laughs> Don't bug us, bitch. <laughs> hey, what's the mainstream media on? Who's whose side is like you know the mainstream media on? Like, oh, they'll eat this shit up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, but are they saying Will I Am is a dirty bastard, or are they, are they on? I don't Perez know. Hills? What are they saying? Uh, Will I Am hasn't been vilified yet because nobody can concretely say right, right. who punched him. Nice. I think he just this friggin' Perez Hilton. Looks like a, an idiot you know in this I, whole thing. Can I tell you, like Mario, it, black eyed, bl black eye peas or black eye, black, Mondo peas. black eye peas. They're oh, smart yeah. enough to know. All right, they got a beef with uh, Perez Hill, right? Uh, you know damn well that uh, you know Will I Am can't punch nobody. Of course not. So they have the confrontation. That Will I Am goes, you know what? I'm, uh, <laughs> And one of his uh, one of his entourage type guys, one of his one of his guys that hangs around, goes, all right. And yeah. then punch, punch him, him in the, in the face. face three times. And they'll, they'll never leaves. know who punched Perez Hilton in the face. They, and it's yeah. perfect because Perez knows exactly who punched him in the face. One of his guys. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know what they should it's have perfect. people. Those guys know how to take care of their shit. They they probably have people that are punch in the face people. Absolutely. It's like you're a punch in the face guy. If I'm talking to somebody, dude, it was you a, come up and just punch him in dude, the face. Was, I don't know you. You, know you get money under it, the table. You never talk to it us. Was, it was, Will I am had a one punch minute conversation with someone, and he didn't even say punch him in the face. Yeah, but this guy knew I got to go punch him. I got to go face punch him. A face. little peripheral vision look, right? Yeah, yeah. a little look, a little yeah, that you know, look. This is what happened, and the guy just gave him a nod, and that was it. Whoop that sissy's ass. Punch smoke. him in the yeah. face. Well, emergencies going on, but I was in fear for my safety, and I had been assaulted. So when the police are taking their time and they're not coming, I'm freaking coming. out. I took to Twitter. Because I was in shock. <laughs> yeah, because that's, cause that's the Twitter. first place you go. Yeah, I took to Twitter after that. It's not like you're in the middle of a cornfield in the middle of nowhere. And you're like, oh fuck, there's no phones around, but I got my Twitter on me. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. you, you know what I mean? You gotta be somehow. You're in a hotel and you you, you could call on a phone or the phone you got in your hand. What does he have? Like he probably has what two million fucking followers or something, right? I don't know. But. But I want to know if anybody called the fucking cops. They say, well, he thanks the people I'm who sure. did indeed I'm call I'm sure them. they did. Because you know they're idiots who, like, probably woke up the next morning 12 hours after it happened. And oh, my God. Is in trouble. Oh, my God. Help him. Help him. Oh, my God. Someone's being a Perez and Lady Gaga. <laughs>
Oh. Who the fuck is Lady Gaga? <laughs> Lady Gaga. She's the it girl right now. Why She's, do you think it yeah. rained so hard last night? That was all of Perez Hilton's fans crying alongside him. Uh, <laughs> I felt helpless. And that was my very public cry for help. Oh, shit. And to all of those people who expressed concern and who called the police. Let's invent a new word for faggot. Thank you. Let's just invent a new word. From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> thank you. Because I am a human <laughs> being. And this ruins him. He's a twaggit. <laughs> <laughs> twaggit. See, this guy... That's a new he's word. a twag. <laughs> this, this ruins him. This ruins what he was, what, what he was building up. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up, twag. Because, because then he re he realizes, wow, everyone realizes out there, wow, this guy isn't as brave as we thought. Like, you know... Well, the whole point of, like, if you make fun of everybody... You right. have to be somebody that people can't make fun of. Right. Yes. Or, but yeah. now he's, like, obviously vulnerable. He's Wagon. so vulnerable. <laughs> he's a this, twag. This ruins him. I'm telling you, six months from now, his site is nothing. Hmm. He'll get some He'll get some nice exposure and buzz the next uh, week or two. After that, people are going to be like, eh. This is what was his Twitter right there? Yeah. yeah. I was assaulted by Will. I was assaulted by. No, 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 by... no. He shouldn't put that up there because I got the I got the whole line of Twitter. Oh, you do? Go to in a second oh. Here. Nice. That's, that's, like, the third one in. Oh, is it? Yeah, because uh, I'll give you the whole development of this thing right after this clip. It's almost over. And no one <laughs> deserves to be treated that way. You do. <laughs> Violence is never the answer. Yeah, but drawing the cocks and, you know, what do you... What do you Sometimes people what get punched you, in I just the want to make sure we get our happen. point out there. That's what all. What do you think <clears throat> is going to happen? Everything, you know, your freedom to post that has consequences. It gets well, 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 our freedom to speak on the air has consequences. If you go out on the street and say the wrong thing to somebody, you have the freedom to say it. But, mm -hmm. you know, consequences. <laughs> There's a reason why Club Soda Kenny escorts you out of the building. Exactly. Just in case. Somebody Just punches in you in the case. face. You never know. We've Punch had, in the face, guy. We've had some uh, incidents, but we're not sitting there crying. <laughs> Someone came up to me. My real name is Anthony Armando Cumia. And I want to tell you, someone came up to me and said, Baba Booey in my face. I don't need that. I'm a human being. Shut up, you fruit. Oh, God. I think even the gay guys that listen to us would admit that this guy's a fruit. I know. Jesus. They'd start Answer. eating pussy after listening to this guy. <laughs> Fuck this. And I would never make something like this up or try to use something like this for press. Uh, no. I don't stop. need it. And I don't need anything that happened. And fuck you where I am for lying. Shame on you. Shame. God is looking down on you <laughs> and shaming you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Fucking coward! Oh, really? Fuck you both! You know. <laughs> well, if you I want to bring God into it, I have all respect for all of you and the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> Look at that face. And Fergie, you're fugly bitch. Oh, oh that's real brave. Now. Yeah, really? real brave what now. A fucking because loser. he said in they... your jizz-stained bed that you're fucking right. recording this from, from. From the safety of his house. Wow, that's real brave. Because the whole thing started. Fergie went up to him and goes. Why are you insulting me on the website? Like, I thought we were actually kind of friends. Like, I thought we were mm. cool. And he was like, oh, no, no, no. I loved your solo stuff. That's just being silly. That's just for the web, whatever. Right. And so now that Fergie's not there, he's in his hotel oh, room brave. crying. And... You could have said it right to her face. Yeah. That is the best freeze We had one of those ever. guys that used to work for us that, that <laughs> like uh, somebody. saw me right on the street, could have said whatever the fuck you wanted, and then he went and did a cute little article. Wow, that was real fucking brave. You just Cocksucker. you listen to that guy, right? And at the end of the day, you know, you wonder if he has a, you know, friends. You can picture someone sitting there listening to this whole thing. Yeah. And at the end of it, just looking at him and going, "So, <laughs> so, just so what? So. Like, you, you, there's nothing about this that just evokes anything. It's no sympathy. <laughs> None at all. Be. You can't even imagine anybody gives a a, a fucking shit. Like, if oh. sometimes I watch TMZ yes. and you just got the guy. The lawyer dude, and you just you just go. He he, he needs one too. Just a, <laughs> just a sock in his fucking jaw. J just just, just because you know they feel protected yep. by something. But but there's a lot of people in this business that that came from 
places where you punch. You punch you someone don't, when they You don't that. have mental warfare. I don't right. got time to be drawing shit bubbles on on, on you. It's like, yeah. it's so like, dude. I'm just dude, gonna punch you. you I'm just gonna <laughs> fucking hit you. Like, there's people who just, f- they come from, you don't come from mental warfare. And, and with sissies pointing at you and sorry, and, and sissies pointing at you and doing things and and in your face and and then I don't know if you ever watched TMZ, but it's just the guys just sitting there, just all smarmy. <laughs> Look at him. Look yeah. at him. and they got pictures of people with crust in their ears and shit. Yeah. You just go, what the fuck? As what do he, you got? Well, I got a picture. As he drinks his drink out of his sippy straw, or whatever. Yeah. Like, like, are you serious? Like sippy uh, cup. Dude, it's like a I got to say this. Andy from Atlanta, check out John Mayer's Twitter in response to Perez. Classic line. John Mayer wrote, I also want to train you in an old martial art called never call a black dude a faggot jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you expect to happen if you call a black guy a faggot? He'll probably you punch you in the face that? three times. Yeah, right. yeah. And, you, and you should understand that consequence. And then if you do get punched in the face, you don't <laughs> run to your yeah. hotel and cry like a little bitch. Minute. And he might as well call him a nigga because it was the same outcome. But, yeah, exactly. To just get some <laughs> satisfaction, he yeah, might as well take the real one. At least he would have been dropping, you know, the big one. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with I him? I like how he, he brings up God, too, saying, you know, yeah. God looking down on you, shame on you. Technically, if you go by exactly. you know, the Catholic Church, I think God's looking down on some of your activities Actually, and going, ah, that was ah. that was God's curse for you. God was working yeah. through Will I Am's uh, manager. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to figure out who punched you. You might want to look at God. There, there are, I think yeah. someone was doing God's dirty work. There are some people that have interpreted the Bible as being very anti-gay. So um, if you want to uh, oh, invoke God. the name of God looking down on somebody... And how um, great is it mm. that he got a black guy from one of the black guy people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why I did mean, anybody talking. say that the whole time? <laughs> well, I mean, oh, it, it, it was the obvious, but it just has oh. to be verbalized. Uh, here's Perez's Twitter. So it started man, with this. At 3.34 in the morning, I'm in shock. I need the police ASAP. Please come to the Soho Metropolitan Hotel now. Please. 3.36, I was assaulted by Will I Am of the Black Eyed Peas and the security guards. I'm bleeding. Please, I need a, to file a police report. No joke. So two minutes later, he, he got no response, so he tweeted again instead like of going t- with the fucking Two minutes flow. later? Right. Meanwhile, Ed McMahon well, needed help, and uh, he, he couldn't get any because <laughs> right. they were all being sent <laughs> over to this idiot's house. <laughs> uh, oh, TMZ is reporting that Glad wants Perez to apologize for using the word faggot. Uh, he, he just fucked up his whole world. Trust me. Watch how this one plays out. 344, Ant. That's now 10 minutes later from uh-huh. the first one. Still waiting for the police. The bleeding has stopped. I need to document this. Please, can the police come to the Soho Met Hotel? This Three. is from the voice cock mouth reporter. A uh, recorder? Reporter. Yeah. I think. Oh, 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 oh. Such, such a good one, too. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was uh, 3 <laughs> 59 a.m. I spoke to my lawyer. I really need to talk to the authorities. Please come to the Soho Met Hotel. Have called the police. Need them here. So the police still not there. Twenty five minutes. Yeah, because they're busy. Right. And and he said uh, at this point he called the police. So his Twitter didn't help him. Uh, the Toronto police are here now. Thank you. Please stop calling them. Four sixteen a.m. <laughs> Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for your concern. The police are investigating the assault now. I did the right thing by reporting it, 526. And then finally, won't be talking about this any further. It's in the hands of the authorities. Ta-ta. And then after that, he did the video blog. Right. Like oh, a, after. So he said, yeah, I'm not yeah. talking about it anymore. And then he did 11 minutes of vlogging I, on it. I heard the, the entire 11 minutes is worth playing. Is that true? If you want me to pull the whole 11. I mean, he those are the thought. best clips but i'll pull the whole 11 minutes what else does he do in there he just whines and cries a lot it's great i I could listen to him whine and cry all day here's what he thought by the way here's what he thought you know how twitter is is taking off as far as tweety 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 tweet breaking news tweet tweet exactly as far as like (laughs) iran goes a lot of that a lot of stuff coming in from iran over the twitter Uh, people are talking about everything uh when when a plane goes down people are like leaving uh uh, the crash site going oh my god i was just in a plane crash that some guy twittered that he actually thought this was going to be and uh wow uh twitter being used to get the police to it and no one gave a shit no No one gave a shit that this idiot this hypocritical dolt got his fucking uh, comeuppance by getting punched by somebody. Not because he's gay. 
But because he's an asshole. Because he's a dickhead. He's a fucking asshole who, who, who badmouths people on yeah. his stupid website. And finally, someone called him out on it and punched him in yeah, the face. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, take the gay angle out of it. He's just no. a douche. He's all brave on his website. Yeah. There's a consequence like we've explained over and over again here. That's right. Uh, one more clip of Perez before we wrap this up. And somehow, some through some <laughs> irony of God, through some joke that he finds funny, that the Supreme Being finds funny, my birthday ends up at the end of this month that I have had the most <laughs> brutal time of. I'm supposed to sit here and take, you know, and drink and have a great time. Mm-hmm. And... You know, act like nothing's happened whatsoever. I know, buddy. Here's what... I, I have been <laughs> brutalized through this month, and you never, ever got me one ounce of slack. <laughs> Not once did you ever say, hey, I'm here for you. It was always, hey, I'm here for me. Oh, yeah, he doesn't well, like the black guy. Yeah. No, that's horrible. Fergie I mean, was never there for him. No, yeah. Him and Fergie were supposed to be friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's too bad. <laughs> Oof. Wow, that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got local knowledge out there. It's Spank Bank from Buffalo. He uh-huh. goes, in a city full of fags, how did the Toronto police know where to go? <laughs> I guess that's some local knowledge oh, is Toronto. It? I don't know. All right. Uh, Poor Perezzo. Yeah, He calls himself Perezzo? That's one of the nicknames, the uh, gossip gangster. Yeah. Oh, gossip gangster? Yeah, yeah, that's one of his real names. Yeah, the whole. Did he new come up with the now. gossip gangster? Of course. You know what? Would, wouldn't that be great? The do you whole understand the gangster life? What could happen to you? So if you're going to say you're the gossip gangster, this is this is exactly what you you should have expected. He thinks it's cute. He yeah. focused more on the gossip he than the it's gangster. Cute. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, guess what? I'm really cute. This Dude. ruins him in the end. I'm this should you. just be a new thing celebrities do. It's punch just Perez punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah. As like a goof. No, no. Oh, and that that will ruin him. It was just like yeah. where, Somebody... once that floodgate opens, <laughs> yeah. and, and you tap him on his jaw and it's just once they go and and then they look around and go, Wait, no one's coming after me. Yeah. No one cares. No one cares. He's twittering. No one cares. Celebrities need to come together and start a blog that's just pictures of different celebrities punching, punching Perez. Perez. In the, in the face. face, and I got punched again. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm Mario Armando <laughs> Lavagera, and I've been hit again. Oh. Twitter the police or something. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> the Twitter police. Show How is up. the media really handling this? They're just kind of using the sensationalism of it right now. Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously Perez Hilton is Is there way one over guy the that's brave enough to go, well, what did he expect? Uh, back to you, Connie. <laughs> <I don't think laughs> <that>. <laughs> Should have expected right? a fist in his face. <laughs> oh, what? This is on? I believe he was um, dissing, uh, if I may use the word dis, dissing right. a member of the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> well, what did the faggot expect? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, is this on? <laughs> <laughs> now sports with Tank. <laughs> tank. <laughs> but they're really going to use, the, the regular news is going to really use the Black Eyed Peas angle, the Black Eye. Yeah, yeah no, Black yeah, Eye. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems that uh, Black Eye has happened yeah. to Perez. Well, yeah. They've lived up to their name, the Black Eyed Peas, by giving a black eye to uh, Armando fucking... <laughs> And Lorenzo Lamas. They're now the black eye please because <laughs> the <laughs> uh, yeah. Black Eyed Peas are like the safest musical group that any black oh, guy could for, ever be a part of. Wait for the real gangsters to go, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. shit. You mean I could punch that motherfucker <laughs> in the face? He gonna get raped after this yeah, one. Like <laughs> that shit. Yeah, Sam's right. They are oh, for a shizzle. Some they're, hardcore They're fucking, safe gangsters. They're family friendly Walmart like yeah. hip hop music. You know damn well there's gonna be ah whatever. <laughs> and get some hardcore <laughs> pipe hitting niggas. Oh no! 
I got a ball gag. I'm all. <laughs> all right. Oh, it just kicks that door shut. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. And I've never. <laughs> I am I'm, I'm recording this as Armando. <laughs> and I can't believe this. One punch in the face and I'll be punched in the rectum. Yeah, yeah. yeah you fuck him. That one guy said, yeah. You fuck him. What's that guy's story? Yeah, yeah, you fucking fuck him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Red Hill's gonna take a real foul. <laughs> He's gonna get one. Uh, Ain't gonna be no Bruce Willis uh, to fucking bail him out either. Oh god damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's Will. Will's Test boy just beating his someone, ass. Could someone please Twitter Bruce Willis? <laughs> <laughs> someone tweet Bruce Willis and tell him to bring a samurai sword. Ow! This Ouch. Ow! 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 Zed is hurting me. <laughs> Zed, you're fugly, Zed. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, that music over Perez Hilton's horse shit. <laughs> Fucking help me. Speech. Uh, I've been please. abused. Bruce Willis isn't showing up. <laughs> He's fugly. <laughs> Fuck Bruce Willis. Pride? <laughs> That's pride fucking with you. I'm going to get an eagle on his ass. <laughs> I'm going to get some hard-hitting, pike-laying motherfuckers yeah. to fuck him up. Because he's after. fugly and he's a faggot. You're going to go after Will I Am with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. <laughs> Ow. I'm still being fucked in the ass. Wait a minute. And his Will I Am. We, we, so we cool? <laughs> we we yeah. cool? <laughs> yeah. Just don't let me see your ass you okay? in Los Angeles no more. No, man. I'm pretty fucking far from okay. <laughs> First of all, this didn't happen. <laughs> Listen to that music. That music is associated with fucking ass rape. Ah, I can't. I don't even know what this song was before fucking myself it's got raped. Just the ass rape. It's just ass rape music. Man. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking hey, that's funny. Bob in Montana, prison. on. Pre oh, you'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Perez is used to a fist, but just not in the face. Yeah. Oh, uh, kind of speculative. Oh, that song and, great? The TMZ kid uh, sent me a, a text telling me Michael Jackson died. I'm like, shut the fuck up. What is this? Some NYPD joke you guys are pulling? Well, yeah, because there was no hint that, you know, he was heading this way. Didn't everyone try to break the news? Oh, yeah. That's always the like, case. My girlfriend called me two hours later. Did you hear that Michael Jackson died? And I just pretended that I didn't believe her because she wanted to tell someone so bad. I'm like, no, he didn't. Uh, and she's uh, like, no, he really did. I'm like, no, he didn't. Stop. I got to go. Jimmy's Twitter was great. <laughs> just chastising everybody. Oh. It's like, all right, shut up. Enough trying to be a part of the story. I understand he's dead enough. Exactly. You didn't know him. What is this now? Heart attack or cold feet? Oh, Perez Hilton. Oh, Jimmy, you missed the Perez Hilton stuff. Dude, I how how I that had to make you happy, right? Mm. Yes, I'm very happy actually. Did he get punched? Yeah, very. Yeah, just the only thing I think he's he doesn't understand the world he lives in. He's a snarky little douchebag. You're gonna be drawing, punched in the face. If you're gonna be drawing cocks on celebrities' faces and drippy noses, hinting that they might have a drug problem yeah. and cum bubbles, guess what? You might get punched in the face, you idiot. How great! I was think that? it's funny though that he I'm, called the guy a faggot and and then had to, had to apologize. It's like if, if someone else called someone else a faggot in anger, like it happens when you're angry, you say stupid stuff. That fucking little jizz bucket would be screaming of for them to, to be fired from whatever gig they had or to be removed from whatever place they could be removed from. Yeah. And he gets away with just going, oh, I'm sorry, I was angry. Right. Right. Like Douchebag. Well, well, he fucked up with the Michael Jackson thing, too, so. Did he? I think Perez Hilton's days are numbered. I don't. I think he's, uh, I think he's completely jumped the shark, and he's going to be on his way out within weeks. 
Uh, heart attack or cold feet? This is what Perez Hilton was reporting as this whole thing was going down yesterday. Uh, we knew something like this would happen. Michael Jackson was taken by ambulance from his home to a nearby Los Angeles hospital on Thursday afternoon. Supposedly, the singer went into cardiac arrest, and the paramedics had to administer CPR. His mother is even on the way to visit him. We are dubious. Jacko pulled a similar stunt when he was uh, getting ready for his big HBO special in 95 when he collapsed at rehearsal. He was dragging his heels on that, just like uh, his upcoming 50-date London residency at the O2 Arena, of which he already postponed the first few dates. Either he's lying or making himself sick, but we're curious to see if he's able to go on. Get your money back, ticket holders. Oh, and, and in the typical go. unfunny, shitty writer fashion, it, it's a sign of a... T he fucking puts exclamation points after everything. Why? Yeah. Well, Is he putting cum bubbles now? If Prince had any balls, he'd take that last picture of him in, in the, going into the ambulance and put cum bubbles on it. Yeah. Sure. Do, yeah. You might as well. Do that. Sure. Do that, brave man. Uh, Turn man lightly. Let's see how to Donnie. That fruit. Uh, oh, Sam. Uh, the Perez Hilton video. Holy shit, what's that yeah. about? Yeah. We're, uh, thanks to what would Tyler Durden do, kind of getting the ball rolling on it. Yeah, those guys rule over there. Well, we're trying to get the main guy on, but for some reason he's shy. Why? He doesn't, has, he hasn't done a lot of press, so he's trying to Why, like Why, though? His site's pretty damn well, good. Well, he's starting to now, so he's, he wanted to do some more local stuff before hitting us, but, uh, I'm, I'm, we're in touch, so we'll, we'll get him on. Have you talked to him? Yeah, through emails, yeah. Is he, oh, just through emails? Just wondering. No, he's, he's an all right guy. He's all just right. shy. We'll get him on. All right, we want him on, but, uh, he gave us huge coverage, I think, on Friday or Saturday. We were on the front page. Somebody, did any of us do that? No. Did the Perez Hilton bit? It was a fan. A fan took our Perez Hilton rant uh, where we turned into the Pulp Fiction thing. It was pretty pretty hilarious. Patrice was in. And uh, they put it on their front page. And now it's like one of the hottest videos on YouTube right now. Yeah, it's the number three most popular video on all of YouTube. If really? You just, if you go to YouTube.com and just click videos. Right. It's the third video you see. Uh, is it Sam? It was this morning. I showed you. You saw it. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did see it when you showed me, but now. Oh, boy. Oh, Sam. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now this means nothing to everyone. YouTube is unpredictable. Let's uh, let's get some <laughs> hits going. What the let's hell? Get it back. Let's get it to number one. I got here about an hour ago, and I, you did show me. I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, I guess if you go to uh, www.tdd.com, I don't know if it's on the front page anymore, but it's pretty pretty close to the front page. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they they, uh, they put just, our rent up there. and Or you could just search uh, Opie and Anthony Perez Hilton on YouTube. Okay. And get the whole Oh, it's rant. still on the front page, but yeah, barely. So it's the last thing on the front page. Last thing on the front page. It's gonna, it'll, it'll be gone from the front page soon, but pretty damn cool. Some good exposure for us. Let's boost it up, Mr. Tyler Durden. Oh, guys, Perez Hilton is on TV oh, doing a little gossip. Is he a card? What is he going to say next, Jimmy? What is he going to say? Hopefully, hand me that shotgun. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what a, he's try, his hair is like really weird, like a peacock. Well, he's it got like a mohawk peacock, bright orange on top type thing yeah, happening. And then it gets swept we in get front it. Of you eye. like cock. It's like, how much attention uh, do you like need? One. He tries so hard. It's almost embarrassing. It's like, we get it. Oh, just stop. You're a celebrity blogger. Oh, what's Lindsay Lohan? Who fucking cares <laughs> about any of that shit? Well, you know, I heard Samantha was seen it. So shut up! <laughs> you fucking worthless bag of shit! You think he's talking about Kanye West oh, right now? So, and, oh. and then I heard, I heard that he called Lindsay and then Britney. Shut the <laughs> fuck up! I bet that Kanye conversation is going on oh, right yeah. now. Look we, out, look at that. Can anchor. we find out what he's saying about Kanye West down the hall? Can you get me that audio? I, I need to know if he, if he uh, has something to say about Taylor Swift and Kanye West. I well, swear I'm, to God. What do you think he has to say about Taylor Swift? I, I'm sure he got the skinny. Well, then I heard that say that Taylor was talking about. Did you, did you really <laughs> fucking hear that? Oh, is he terrible? What, what about Lady Gaga? Oh, you, oh enough look, with Lady her Gaga. and her giant fucking her giant fucking African artwork mass vagina bulge. I love it. <laughs> I think I'm in love. With, I don't know if I love her or want to push her into a rock quarry. <laughs> that fucking bulging vagina, Lady Gaga. I want to wear it as a hat. <laughs> but he's talking about it right now, Jimmy. Yeah, what is he saying? Saying? What is he saying? Oh, I don't think? know. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. The door of the street is. You know, I'm talking to Samantha Lindsay Lohan. Just girlfriend. Shut up. <laughs>
<laughs> what do you think? Lady Gaga. Who cares? Can we find out what Perez is saying about Lady Gaga? He's hoping it's a cock. Yeah, yeah of course he is. Are they getting the Perez Hilton stuff for us? Because I want to know what he was gossiping about. Oh, I'd love yeah. to know. What do you it's, think, Sam? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on, though. You know, we're, is there a lot of gossip in yeah. the... Um, I gotta tell you, we're out of touch, though, because Perez Hilton gets how many fucking hits a day? Millions. Millions. Yeah. So we're the ones that are out of touch. Nah, it doesn't matter. Fuck them. Maybe we should start a gossip uh, little thing He's, on our show. He paints cum bubbles on people. He stinks. He <laughs> contributes know, nothing. That? That's what I don't... He's not an artist. He contributes shit. No. Mm -hmm. Some bloggers are very fucking funny and smart, but most of them I are just... the goddamn bloggers. <laughs> God damn! Oh, sorry, most did of them you, are just contribute nothing. What guys. did you hear about this? It's what is that? Courtney Kardashian isn't going to buy maternity clothes; just borrow Chloe's. Oh shit! Because Chloe's fat. Yeah. Uh -uh. Oh uh -uh. shit! He didn't uh -uh. say that. Chloe was. Chloe uh -uh. has just lost weight. So uh -uh. Chloe's uh, slowly becoming the hottest no, sister. Is that the little one there? Kim the little is, one is the hottest by far. I Kim mean, is it, the hottest. no. Fuck you. Hey, I don't. I wouldn't know a Kardashian <laughs> if she walked into the fucking room. <laughs> the fucking really? Him? No, I know her name. Wouldn't know that bitch's face if she sat next to me. Let's see what Perez is talking about. He gets millions of hits. Maybe we can learn something today. That's the top story. Well, John Gosling gets dropped by girlfriend. Cross out lawyer. Uh oh. And then look, that's funny. What Kate Goslin says to John Goslin. Well, uh -huh. well sucks, sucks well, to be you. Yeah, Perez uh, <laughs> added that in a picture of Kate and John yeah. together. But you see behind it, they're coming out of uh, Mr. Chow. But see Perez, because he's very clever. Yeah. He crosses out the CH, so now it just reads Mr. Ow. And he put an arrow going to uh, like, like, see, his ooh, head. That hurts. And that he again, got dropped. cum is coming out of his mouth. Yeah. Which is him. Oh, that and guy's edgy. Because He's John crazy. Goslin's divorce lawyer has decided to drop him as his client and filed a petition with the Montgomery County court system to withdraw as his counsel. Oh, no! I know! <laughs> At least someone Why? else sees what dead weight John Why? is. Oh, boy, that Perez. What else is he talking about today? I don't know. Aaron Carter's getting sued. Who and, the uh, fuck is Aaron more. Carter? That's that was Nick Tweety, Carter's, you assholes. Yeah. <laughs> That's Nick Carter's uh, younger brother. Uh, yeah. Backstreet Boy. And he's right. going to be on Dancing with the Stars this season. And he's got cum dripping out of his mouth, as per uh, yeah, Perez and, Hilton. And is that crazy, or is that... Uh, That's crazy! That's crazy! Perez Hilton's crazy! Oh, it's crazy! What else is he talking about? Well, uh... He's... Wait, he goes, do you know what oh. today is? What is it? What's that? It's Nick Jonas's birthday! <laughs> From the Jonas Brothers? Of course. Which one is he? The ugly one? No. Or the cute one? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... There you go. Holy shit. He's uh -huh. the cute one. He's the cute one? I think that's the, the ugly one. one. Hey, would you pop him in the shitter? Right in the... <laughs> right in his coolie. <laughs> right in the coolie hole. How come no jizz dripping out of his mouth? What, has he's he got too, a crush on him? He's too cute. You fucking flamer. All right, what else is Perez talking about? Oh, Potterheads make your travel arrangements now. I heard about this. Universal Studios is announcing that they're opening Wizard Wor Wizarding World as a section of Universal Studios. Are they going to have wizardry? Wow. Yeah, wizarding World is going to be very frightening, Samuel. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, to know they're a land of goblins and wizards. <laughs> Everybody frightening me. You're like, the, you're like the Walt Disney there. I would hate that casting spells all over. Wizardry should never be practiced. <laughs> Are you the main guy at Wizard World? I certainly am not. I actually work in the parking lot. I don't go inside. It's haunted. <laughs> they gave me a pointy hat, though, and it was very frightening. Oh. Why, so you could perform a wizard? But I didn't see it. Oh, Perez is oh, back goodness. on TV. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I was going nowhere Damn. with this bit. Now he's, uh, they're talking to him live. <laughs> what is he saying? What is he saying? Pot it up. Can you pot it up? No. This I... guy be crazy, I bet. I mean, well, it's crazy. Yeah, we're getting audio press. Why can't we hear? When he talks, people have to well, yeah, listen. Gotta listen. What else we got there, Sam? Um, SAG honors Betty White. Ah, <laughs> uh, get it? SAG. That's... The Screen Actors Guild Lifetime Achievement Award is oh. going to Betty White. Oh, the president is going to uh, be appearing on Letterman. Yes, he is. First sitting president to appear on Letterman. Oh, look, and see, it says, and illegal immigrants won't be c covered. See, Obama says that, and then Letterman says, you lie. You lie. Like the thing. He is so funny. Wow, that's terrific. Money he put a cum bubble so on the president. Funny. Yeah, 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 do that. <laughs> yeah, there you go, <laughs> Jimmy. Fucking coward. There you go. Why not a cum bubble on uh, 
No yes. come bubble on Keanu Reeves or Patrick Swayze either. Well, I can't wait for the next <laughs> celebrity to slap him across his stupid oh, face. Oh, was that I great? Know. Was that great when he got I smacked? I can't got wait. It will slapped. happen again. I hope it's Fedor or Emelianenko. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're fucking Liddell after like 300 beers. <laughs> uh, did Chuck fucking eats a keg. After 300. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. He fucking eats the wood off the I, keg and then I, fucking I, punches him. It's a terrific line, Jimmy, but that, that's when you want Chuck Liddell to attempt to hit you after 300 beers. That's he's, true. He's not going to be moving too Probably well. not. After 280, he's deadly. But 300, he tapers off. <laughs> He's a 20 beer fucking. He's going to be window. dancing with the stars, though. I know, I heard. Oh, yeah. Patrick Swayze died, uh, Jimmy, while yeah, you were gone. You're kidding. And the boys. How did it <laughs> and the boys put together a little tribute for Patrick Swayze. Oh, that's nice. So let's take a quick listen. Somebody tells me it's not going to be a particularly moving tribute. No. Hey, yes, be nice. That's what he said when he was Dalton in uh, Roadhouse. The Opie and Anthony Show would like to honor the late, great Patrick Swayze with a tribute featuring his 1987 hit song from the Dirty Dancing soundtrack, She's Like the Wind. I just want to ask Jimmy, what do you, what do you think is <laughs> going to happen now? Where does this go horribly wrong? Because the setup sounds like it's going to be a very it nice does. thing. I'm trying to think where this can go yeah. wrong. Um, somebody singing things that rhyme with She's Like the Wind, yeah. but they have something to do with his <laughs> pancreas. <laughs> Not being up to par. <laughs> <laughs> Not being up to par? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Is that it, you think? Yeah, yeah, something. Cancer got him. You know, some awful <laughs> just, lyrics. Just some kind of fucking... What, what was that bit service? Oh, oh uh, Prep, prep, prep burger. burger. Maybe we could give this to Prep Burger. Oh, oh I think wow. we could definitely... Pep, what is it? Prep. Prep, 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 prep Burger. Okay. Prep Burger's gonna like this one. All right. The win. And now, Patrick Swayze. She's out of my league. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. You know what? We should have had faith in Dirk and Steve. Oh, I, I, shit. I apologize for it. We should have had, a, we should have oh. had some faith in those guys. They actually are a pretty good production team. Yeah. Derek and Steve are, are, are producing some good shit. Yeah. All right, that was brutal. <laughs> yeah, that was a rough one. <laughs> it's all in the fucking sack of potatoes falling sound. It's just the fact, I like the fact that the music cut off when he fell, too, as if he was in charge of the whole operation. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck, man. Yeah, that was good. All right, guys. Oh, shit. God fucking damn it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <sighs> I'm God waiting for the damn. Pres Hilton audio because we really need to know what he was talking I about. I have to know. Okay. Yeah. It's good. very important. It's a slow news day. Oh, uh, look, Miley Cyrus is bending over and it looks to be what? <laughs> looks like Lukey. shit or cum coming oh. out of her ass. What it might is be, lucky both. It <laughs> might be just liquid shit. Eh? Oh, why? Why? What is? What problem Why did he, he draw liquid they... shit coming out of her ass? Yeah, what problem does he have with her? Yeah, I don't well, know. He's just snarky. Oh, he is. You don't know? No, Miley was, uh, she had her opinions on the VMAs. You're lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah, I think you're, you're lying. lying. I'm not lying. You're lying. Perez posted some of Miley's comments. Yeah. Oh, she had comments on the what? On the VMAs. Okay. Oh, what, what were some they? Of the comments? Uh, oh, Perez calls Beyonce Beowulf. Why? <sighs> Why that? Beyonce <laughs> like, like, Be like, Beowulf. Because Beyonce sounds like... Why? You know what? I for real fucking because now I'm just literally annoyed. hate this guy. <laughs> I I'm literally just annoyed. Hate him. Why? Why he's funny? I, That's exactly why. Why the fuck? Did, how many millions of of hits does he get a day? I'm saying millions. Not enough. I, mean, I, I I heard I think like nine million a day, something like that. It's one of the most popular websites in the world. The fuck is wrong with America? Off his chin. <laughs> I get it. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. <laughs> That's good. What else did he uh, say? Well, Gagita, of course. I mean, Lady Gaga to you guys. He calls her Gagita. That's funny. What does that mean? Gagi He's like best friends with Lady Gaga, so that's the term of affection. What does it mean, though? It's Gagita. Shouldn't this stuff mean something? No, you don't need... What do you, why? <laughs> why? No, no, why? Okay. You know what awful conversations him and Lady Gaga must have? <laughs> ah. Do you know what nonsense they must just talk about? What else? Oh, Khalees and Nas were spotted together, which is weird, because I thought they were getting divorced. Oh, wow. Well, that's a big story. <laughs> What? Who? 
Khalees and Nas. It's shit. They're uh, married, right? Monkeys. Well, yeah. Star. Wait, this is pretty funny. Monkey, Monkey star, star abused, abused his, his wife. wife. <laughs> abused by, abused by, by his, his wife. wife. Yes. Holy shit, I thought it was abused wife. Wait a minute. Davy Jones? <laughs> what? <laughs> abused by Telemundo star Jessica Pacheco? What did she do to him? It, the bitch is crazy. She made him watch his own shows. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, look what you've done to me. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Davey has a history of violence with his new wife, including her cracking his rib with a shoe. <laughs> Good. Beating him up. Fucking English yeah. fruit. What kind of fucking shoes does she wear? <laughs> Was the mafia trying to kill her? She has cement footwear? Fucking... <laughs> 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 uh, Poor Davy Jones. Jesus. Bruce Willis flips out. Flips out on a female fan. Female fan? Why? Why? What did he do? What, what did Bruce he do? About that? First yeah. of all, see... No what is... cum bubbles for uh, Bruce Willis, by no, the way. No, no. Saying... Bruce Willis would kick your ass. Grr. He's, he's saying grr, and then it says step off. That's he's right. angry. Because he's mad. Yeah. What happened? Well, at a backstage VIP lounge during New York Fashion Week, Bruce Willis freaked the F out. Oh, wow. Watch the language. On one of his formerly adoring fans. As it turns out, he was physically provoked by a poke. A poke? Now stop it. So she poked him, and Willis put his finger directly in her face, leaned in closely, and irately demanded, Don't you ever touch me again. Understand? Well, that would be intimidating. Yikes. I would be scared of that. Yikes Bruce indeed. Willis yeah. uh, intimidating, Yikes like indeed. looking as a man, like like that you wouldn't want to get into an altercation with him. No, or? he was very uh, no, but he was nice. I don't mean personality wise. I mean physically. Does he come across? Yeah, like... I mean, he's, but again, I I yeah, I was always think it was Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis. Yeah, <laughs> I was just thinking of the cool what Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis. <laughs> but is he is he like John McClane? I don't Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis. Hi, Bruce Willis. You're Bruce Willis. I like Bruce Willis. You're Bruce Willis. <laughs> I'm acting with Bruce Willis. <laughs> so it's like that's all you're thinking of is, is uh, you know, I'm, I'm not looking at him like as a regular dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. I'm going to talk to him about it. Mm. All right. He kind of looks like a big, you know, like, like he's celebrity Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sign this kind of picture, Bruce Willis? Me and you, Bruce Willis. We live in the same building, Bruce Willis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> should we take a quick break and then hopefully Iraq will have the Perez Hilton? Yeah, because I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, we really want to get back and see John Sakata live on Channel Five. Oh wow! What did he sing? I love John Sakata. No, yeah. Did he sing that song from the? Sings every seventeen years. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't imagine you did that. I did. That was cute. I'm so happy I said that. Bug joke. I love bug jokes. <laughs> Bill Jackson's outfit. <laughs> <laughs> if I had an ounce of fucking moral courage, I would have stopped pep talking him and fucking and just yeah, talked about fucking sling blade or Kaiser blade as he called it. The yeah. Perezel audio should be coming any minute now. Perezel? Yeah. Is that what that's what he calls so himself? So let Jimmy leak. What's wrong with you, Sam? And he's you're allowed. I'm not trying. And to what stop was John Sakata's big hit? Uh, he's won two Grammy Awards and sold 20 million albums since Jesus. his English language debut in 1992. Oh, I What's his big song? I confused him with the other guy. Uh, oh. Cicada. <laughs> Cockroach. Yeah. Just <laughs> Another Day. <laughs> How do you, what, what's his big song? Just Another Day was number five. Oh, here it is. I probably heard this. I don't know what this says. I have no clue. I don't think I like it very much. Turn it off. Give it a chance, guys. No, no. Turn it off, please. <laughs> Thank you. I can't be. I can't You're listen to that. You're out of my league. Eros, <laughs> come in. Oh, here comes Eros. Cool. Here he is. Shh, shh, shh. Was Perez talking about some fun stuff? Not at all. What? <laughs> I'm looking at your fucking awful shirt with 13 no. on it. Where turn, are you going? Turn around. What's that? <laughs> What are you doing to him? What? He was uh, on our side. Nothing. 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 Where are you going? <laughs> look at <this. laughs> what, is, what are you looking at? Nothing. I really was just <laughs> making him all fucking paranoid. And it worked. <laughs> it worked like a charm. <laughs> where, does, where does he get his fucking shirts? <laughs> I've, I've never seen such consistently horrendous shirts. I believe that shirt is from Lucky Jeans. Really? Yeah? Uh-oh. 
What it, shirt? Lucky that? jeans, right? What's up, B-Rock? Yeah. yeah. What's the matter, B-Rock? There's nothing wrong with that shirt. No. Nothing right with it. <laughs> you brown with a 13 on it. Show him the oh. side where it says, what does it oh, say? Oh, it gets crazy on the side, Jimmy. Turn yeah. it around. Show Look at that. What does it say? Look at that. Let it ride. <laughs> Gambler it's got in the fucking house. dice on it. <laughs> yeah. Like two it's dice. dice cards and a skull. And man. a flame. Skull and flames. Let like, it what's ride. On fire? You know what that means? What's it's on a fire? gambling man. That's Iraq's motto. He's a gambling man, and the number 13's up there because I ain't fucking afraid of 13. Some people are afraid yeah. of the number 13. I'll wear it right fucking on my chest. That's what he says. Let it ride. Let it ride. You got bad luck now. Let it ride, <laughs> bitch. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Why <laughs> Why did you just put that? Was that a coincidence that that I, picture came up I, I, while, my, you, while you were... My computer has a virus. It just pops up. I don't know what it's it is. It's from fatirock.com, and it's a picture of, of course, Erock's uh, <laughs> head superimposed on the body of a fat um, gentleman holding yeah. his man tits. And it's, it's, what does it say on the boat? Blubber <laughs> and carcasses only. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Sam. Like, I didn't make the Photoshop again. It's some um, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Steven S. from Bayshore wants to know if E Rock got that shirt from Old Gravy. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, now stop it. Comment. E now stop. I already told him where you got it from. You know, oh. old gravy. Yeah, you're not helping. Thanks. No. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let it ride. <laughs> let it ride. Stay in here. He's got dice. He's got fire. That's it. E Rock, let it ride. Stay in here. Let it ride. He's not really letting it ride, is no. he? Sam? No. No. Nah, see, I thought it was he's a gambling not, man. Yeah, he's not living up to his shirt. No. He's got an opportunity to live up to his shirt, and he's not. He's not. Now the he long just folded hallway. with his 13. Why is there fire on the dice? <laughs> it's, Who sets dice on extreme. fire ever? Ow! <laughs> it's probably for playing, playing Yahtzee. It's not even a real card game. <laughs> He took the long walk of shame down that hallway. That's a long walk when you're being abused. That's why is he yeah. a fucking yutz? Yutz. <laughs> 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 he just, tr poor he just Iraq. tries to please poor every day. Poor fucking Iraq. <laughs> terrible fucking short collection. Big 13 on it. Beat it. Before I fucking knock that cap off your head with the fucking phone. I like to knock his hat off like fucking Pesci. Hit Rickles with the phone and just, you know. That's how I want to beat Eric with a telephone. <laughs> that was the best oh, fucking beating on the phone. Oh, that's the poor old guy falling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want his big stomach. He just pulls yeah. it off and he beats it while it's still the cradle is still on the wall. <laughs> it's old school. Uh, fantastic. Love to clock some on the phone. <laughs> Perez Hilton, everyone. Oh, good. Perez Hilton, welcome to Good Day New York. Thank you. It's good to be back. How are you? I am delicious. Uh, really? Oh, shut the fuck up. You're not Why delicious. does he annoy us so much? Because he's a fat phony. He's a cornball. I'm delicious. He's corny. And how he... are you? I'm delicious. Are you? <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. If he said that to us, we would just go, ugh. Yeah. yeah. No. Exactly. Delicious. His balls probably taste like turtle feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the plane all night on the red eye. Fucking ex-fat man legs rubbing together. He probably has those, like, chafe marks. Dude, I kind of I kind of know what turtle feet smell like. Yeah, they're, they're I not have good. those baby little fucking turtles. Those things really stunk. That's probably what his balls smell like. Oh. Jesus. I got dirty shit. Um, really? <laughs> his ass is sweating. He flies business class. <laughs> little chubby feet kicked up. Uh... Mm-hmm. Perez Hilton, <laughs> welcome to Good Day New York. Thank you. It's good to be back. How are you? I am delicious. Um, really? <laughs> Steven S. from Bayshore writes, yes. He's delicious if you love the taste of fecal matter and cum. <laughs> <laughs> His hair is wild, though. He's oh, he's crazy. crazy. Wild. It's crazy. 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 I'm on guard. And yeah. delicious. Um, really? <laughs> How delicious are you? You'll have to taste later. <laughs> Have at it, <laughs> I'm working hard at it. Before I came to New York for Fashion Week and the VMAs and my concert tonight, I'd been working out ten times a week. Good for wow. you. Because what? that's what it takes. I want to look really good naked. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's all about. That's what it's all Holy about, really? Shit. Holy mother. Really, news reader? They should only they should call him um Piggykins. You know how annoyed he'd be if they said welcome back? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, Piggykins. Hey, Piggykins. Yeah. His head is still big and fat, though. Can I see him? 
He's still fat, too. I mean, he's, he's chubby. Is he getting crazy by wearing some kind of dress on yeah, the pink he's carpet? A skirt. That's oh, crazy. Pink this pink is the pink carpet. Pink boots. Not the red carpet. Anymore. And a big pink sock hanging out his ass. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> his asshole has the fucking stretchability oh. of an accordion. Oh, it actually plays good. Danny Boy when he does jumping jacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I farts. It sounds like a didgeridoo. <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard it is oh. to get a didgeridoo reference in? Oh, I say right. once a day, folks. I know. Nice. We've had a few since you've yeah. gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love didgeridoo. We're into the Australian culture these days. I yes. live for them. Oh, oh no. I know. Miss USA, Perez wants to be arrested? What? Uh -huh. Let's listen to this. You know, can we talk about Miss USA for Please. a second? I thought your question was a terrific one. I think you... Holy shit. fuck, I hate the goddamn fucking news. You have to kiss his gaping ass? <laughs> Come on now. It's, it's, it's fucking... you know, can we talk about Miss USA for Please. a second? I Please. thought your question was a terrific one. I think you phrased it well. And uh, I thought her response was a legitimate response okay. to that question. No, now, no, where no, it gets no, no. a little... Hold, hold the phone. Right, 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 maybe I don't hate the guy as much. In order, no, 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 no. Because he, all he wanted to do was say that... He, this girl had the right to say what she said. She yep. had a, a good answer for, for the question. But in order to ask that question and not offend this fucking yes, cunt exactly who it. would have walked off, he had to say, I thought you had a great question. He had to kiss his fucking big, big, hairy, uh, uh, lubed up ass in order to ask that question. Another phony. Another phony. What's your Perez's response was? Yeah was a legitimate response to that question. Now, where it gets a little controversial is the stuff you said later. I mean, do you have any regrets after all that? No, and I don't think she does either, and I want 10% of her book when that comes out. Like, I that have nasty. this dream. It got personal. I have, it, it, that's what I do. I'm a muckraker. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. She's suing now the, the organizers of the California pageant, and I really hope I get called to testify because... I've been thinking for a while that I should get arrested for something, but not something bad like a DUI or, or something like that. But if I showed up to court Perez. maybe in like a thong, would the judge oh arrest me for contempt of court? God. You should talk to Borat about yes, that. Yes, I He's would think so. That'd be a great thing to get arrested for. <laughs> All right, look. What shit? I, th this, this fucking thing it, it is a pariah. What the fuck is he talking about? If I went to court to get this in a thong... Ugh. They're worse than he is, because at least he's just him. They're watching it going, this is adorable. And they're they're chuckling and... Oh, Perez. Him. Oh, Perez. Oh, Perez. That idea stinks. John Cicada's face, is he looks like a mummy. Like an unwrapped mummy. Like it's fucking Tutan Kameen singing, chances are. Unwrapped mummy. But he looks like a fucking Egyptian uh, pharaoh. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yes, he does, it, Jimmy. It, King Dud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shitty song. You don't like that one? It, that Steve Martin's oh, fucking song? It, it was terrific for the time, Jimmy. No, it wasn't. That. Oh, Boy, does that not hold up? You, you gotta admit that. No, I won't. You wanna hear a little of it? He looks like Nefertiti, actually. He's not even King Tut, it's yeah. his mom. Can we hear a little King Tut? Because Jimmy's wrong about this one. Listen to the lyrics. Oh, oh no, dude. Listen to the lyrics. Oh, Perez. So far, it's okay. All right, good. Tell me when it goes wrong. Now, when he was a young man, he never thought he'd see people stand in line to see the boy king. So far, fine. How'd you get the funky? Was King Cut ever funky? Right there, lost me. Oh. Ant? Oh, no. I can't look at anybody. This is okay. My money and bought me a museum king cut. Yeah. Why? He wasn't. He's my favorite honky. Why? Zona moved to Babylon, your king cut. Was he born in Arizona? Why? I don't no. get this. He wasn't actually. The song isn't historically uh -oh. accurate. Oh, now he's doing that wacky Steve Martin dance. <laughs> Yeah. Rock, rock, rock and tight. <laughs> what? He gave his last for the crocodile? No. This is horrendous.
I, Golden I, I, Idol. Hamburger. Thank you, Greg Jarvis, Syracuse. Let's uh, turn this off, Travis. Please. Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank not you. fading quickly Thank enough. Thank you. We have one more verse to go. We're going to give up on it? All right. Turn it back up. <laughs> oh, no. Clap along. Come on, Ed. No. <laughs> that part I find. This part Why? stinks. Buried in his jammies. He's buried naked. Dummy. Wrapped in things. Hey. Oh, 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 big ender. made a stoner. <laughs> <laughs> I like that line. Stoner. That line's great. He could have fucking done so much more with that. Be more funny. <laughs> <laughs> fucking A. That was really hard to listen okay. to. <laughs> like, um... Oh. Condo made of stoner? Yeah. There's no A in stone. No, Maybe back then there was, stoner? Jimmy. Maybe. Fuck's sake, man, you're amateur. How about he uh, forever has a boner? <laughs> <laughs> or I heard his mother was a Mona. King <laughs> 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 Todd. <laughs> uh, Should've won a Grammy. Uh. For what? <laughs> Being bludgeoned when he was 14? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck should King Todd have won a Grammy for? Were there Grammys back then? No! no. He didn't oh. sing. Oh, there weren't, Jimmy? He was an effeminate dictator. All right, we have one more clip from Perez Hilton. Uh, oh. His comments on Lady right. Gaga, because she was pretty, oh, she was pretty crazy at the VMAs. Eh? I cannot wait to hear this. Wearing all sorts <laughs> of weird shit. Lady Gaga, I know that you're <laughs> claiming that you had a hand in her no, success. Uh, I saw it on yeah. your website. I, I never said I, 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 dripping I out of claim anything. Mouth. I say I'm just a big fan of hers, and I'm a music lover, and I think music lovers... Look at her right there, Perez. She That's was her. here, Perez. Good day, we New York. We are claiming I, we had a hand. In October of 2008, this is where it all started. That was a couple of days after she performed at my CMJ showcase oh, that I had here in New York last year. Show no, I'm so proud of her. I really feel like she's like my daughter and sister and wife and it's great you know those were the days no, when wife. she would wear that outfit well, all she does the have time. A big dick. now at the VMAs she wore like seven outfits over the course of an hour and a half crazy times have changed over the last year yeah I'm so proud of Gaga oh I wonder what year his father um just blew his brains out <laughs> wait how do, you, how do you spell that um <laughs> Oh, wait, it would be B L E W either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Come on, that's funny, though. Okay. Perez Hilton didn't like it. Oh, Why? He didn't? I don't know. I, I don't like. know what, what the reason was. He just didn't enjoy it. It didn't Perez. resemble Cox enough for Perez him? Perez Hilton. What did he say about the meat dress? I don't know. Oh, I meant Chelsea Handler. I don't. I don't know what he said. Oh, he didn't like dress. Chelsea Handler. Yeah, I don't oh, know why. why. Did she do one get kind of gay joke? I honestly something? don't. I don't know what his thing was. Maybe that set him off. That fucking shut up, you piece of shit, you fucking. I hate Perez. I, I really do too. How great was it when he got punched? He's a, because he contributes <laughs> nothing. <laughs> was that? It was fantastic. You're not an entertainer. You're some fucking wannabe jizz no. bag who drains little cum things on people. Right. Wow, yeah. you guy's edgy. And Fucking then someone calls cunt. you out on it and punches you in the face and you didn't like it too much. And then he yeah. lied. Well, maybe you should then stop Then he lied the about calling the guy a faggot. Didn't he yeah. lie about saying the word faggot? Yeah. Bitch. Yep. yep. You fruit. Oh, I can't oh. stand him. Him and his little oh. white pencil I, I, drawing I, cum on people's mouths uh, on their pictures. Fucking contri you, he's not a funny writer. To me, that's the problem with him. He's, you're not a funny writer. No, if you if you're dr drawing like cum bubbles, and, Ugh, and, I don't like, mind that. But just write something funny. Take and coke drip shit. And did you see what night. Lindsay was wearing? Go oh, fuck yourself. You don't like when they talk about what Lindsay gives wearing? this shit. She should be wearing a coffin and a fucking <laughs> <laughs> a fucking wearing, satin pillow on her head. Wearing a coffin. Fucking <laughs> drunken whore. She oh, opened, do I want to fuck her? <laughs> she opened up the VMAs with Chelsea Handler. Yeah, it was, it was all right. They had a nice little skit. Yeah. Oh, because they were saying the that the rappers, the black rappers, were like assaulting her and following her through the hall and smacking her ass. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. God, these fucking, I cannot oh, like, stand these you fucking. stunk. Well, I want to know picture. the racial material now. I want to know what joke they had a problem with. It says, Just, so we all agree you stunk. All? Who? Who? Who, who, who agrees? No, he's all putting the, it by, the, he wrote it by the, the vagina. Cocks, all the cocksuckers? Yeah, he wrote it by the vagina because in general he finds them to be offensive. Wow, he's crazy. Saying you stunk. Yeah. Right, right, in that, right next to her vagina. That's Those edgy. Those laid back comedian hosting mm. the BMAs. 
Oh, Christ. Look, I like Russell, but I thought she was a better host than Russell. Yeah. I uh, like him. I thought she was funnier. I thought that she didn't go the predictable. Right? I enjoyed it. And if you don't like her, you don't like her. It's not about not like. It. It's when they start to get like, yeah, like they mention the fact that she did racial humor, and that's what annoyed me. If you think she sucked, eh, well, whatever. That's a judgment call. Has there been one woman that he's actually liked? Think about it. He's fucking. He loves the cock. He loves the cock. Loves it. Oh my god, cock balls. Yeah, just I loves it. Blood. But the cyberbullying, the cause right now is... Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> are, are the A-listers doing this, or is this more it's a C-lister thing? Yeah, it's not A-listers yet, because it's oh, very gay rights-oriented. Oh. So it's your Kathy Griffins. Oh. Perez oh. Hilton is really leading it. How so many Kathy she? Griffins Good. are there? It's that your Cindy your... Loppers. Uh, How many Cindy uh, Loppers are there? I, I'm not a fan when people say that. Paris you know, you got your Brett Favre. Paris, not Paris Hilton. I'm Perez. <laughs> Paris Hilton's, he's against... He's speaking out against who? Perez. Perez. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, you're right. That wait, is that's the funniest fucking thing I think I've ever heard. Yeah. Oh. Perez, Perez. Perez Hilton <laughs> is speaking out against cyberbullying. Because he doesn't draw a comma on <laughs> The motherfucker just... is the biggest cyberbully out there. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking cunt. Is he... I hate him. Wait, Perez Hilton is part He's of the big cause? one. He's a cyberbully. That is insane. I, I He's just... a cyberbully. Get the fuck out of here. Someone jumped off a bridge because there was cum dripping out of a picture of someone's ass right. on his site that he penciled he... in. Fuck that guy, He's man. He's the biggest cyberbully. God, I wish brain cancer on him. I wish brain cancer on fucking Perez let's Hilton. Let's play a game. Let's, let's play the Perez Hilton scroll down the page game. Let's see how many stories it takes. For Perez to draw cum on someone's face. It's a cyber bully. Right. Wait, wait, can we play the other game, too? Because he does the coke thing as well. Whatever, whichever yeah. one you want every, every star in Hollywood obviously does coke if, yeah. you, if you go to Perez Hilton's yeah. site. Yeah, yeah. One. All right, there's Two. one. There's uh, Oh, three. There's wow, three. I would have lost this. Part. All right, can uh, you stop? I'll boss. tell you exactly what the fuck's going on. Because oh, he's yeah. not doing it because you can't, you can't be that, for cyber bullying. No, that's not anything. He... The, uh, he's not doing it. This is this look, is he's drawing. No, All right, there it is. <laughs> Vince Neil and Mel Gibson <laughs> with, with giant cum dripping dicks drawn in their mouth. Right, that's cyberbullying. Right, Vince Neil's microphone is now a big fucking dripping cock. Th yeah. thanks to the guy who's against cyberbullying. What a douchebag! The fact he's that anybody hypocrite. listens to anything. I never know what that little bitch has to say because he is a fucking that blogger. Fucking bitch. But why he would anybody bitch. listen to him? He's just a blogger. He's, He's a fucking nerd. They always have him on TV. He's talking like he fucking means anything. Oh, he shut up. Sucks. He Perez sucks. Hilton. He's the biggest. Die. He's the biggest fucking guy as far as cyberbullying. He's a around. corny blogger. And then someone yeah. calls him out on his shit, and he cries like a little bitch. Yeah, I, I love, love when, when celebrities get cracked. And he calls somebody a faggot, and then lied about it. He yeah. sucks, man. I love when he got fucking cracked in the head. I did too. Fucking loved it. Look, man, when you're when you're uh, doing some edgy shit, there's that consequence oh, that someone's gonna yeah. fucking hit you. Someone's gonna hit you. And then someone finally hit Perez Hilton, and he couldn't take it. Yep, couldn't take it. He whined and cried. Look at there. There's Gwyneth Paltrow with cum dripping out of her fucking mouth. But, but uh, Perez is going to tell everyone not to cyberbully. Yeah. Don't cyberbully. In other words, don't cyberbully gay people like Perez Hilton because he's gay. By the way, uh, not for you. Does gay. Perez Hilton a big, uh, big gay following? On top of it, of course so he got does. A lot of gays going to his site, including young impressionable. Uh, yes. And what's he doing? Cyberbullying. Right. But not cyberbullying gay people. Shut up, you fucking agenda-driven cunt. But what he does, and this is why he's is such a... Suck cock and get dicks in his ass? Yeah, Jimmy, but is I'm, that what I'm, you were going to say? I'm focusing on the negative. Oh, right. What, this is why he's such a, a sickening guy, is because he's painting cum on guys' faces, which is a form of mockery. So yeah. basically, you're saying that to t for a guy to take cum on his face is... Uh, oh, is a mockery. Is a, a mockery. So it's yes. almost like you're selling out your own people. And I know yes. he puts it on women, too. But everybody knows that a man drawn with cum dripping out of his mouth is much more of an yes. insult than a woman shown with cum leaking out. So it's like you you can play the semantics game. Maybe he fantasizes about what it would be like to blow a load in the guy's face, and it's his cum dripping out of his mouth, and it excites Perez. It excites him. Ugh. But, but anyway, hate him. Where is he blogging about? I'd love to read his fucking awful blog about uh, cyberbullying. Oh, he oh, sucks. Stop already. You're, he's awful.
That's unbelievable that he's uh, taking yeah, who's, who's got now? Just Kesha. uh, Kesha's got some cum dripping uh, out of her mouth and, and, and out of her pussy. Did you see that? Oh, was it was that? okay? Let me see. No, no, was, oh, no, oh, okay. still, what is that? What is that? Her outfit, yeah, it's just part of, oh, it's right, just part of her, her, you know, what? I thought he was being creative and had cum dripping who's out of her in pussy. Who's in the uh, too. Kesha's uh, little hot camp? Who's in there? Who's in the camp? Hands? Show of hands? Uh, Show of hands? Yeah, you know me. I like a little skank. A little skank. Doesn't hurt anybody. I saw bikini pictures. I'm not excited about it. Yeah? Oh, no, you saw that no, 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 no. You saw the one piece. Wait. Oh, there's new ones? Yeah. No, she was wearing that horrible one piece where she had the flat ass yeah, on vacation. I'll have to look at, at the other yeah, ones. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah, yeah didn't, did, hey, didn't, didn't, by the way, didn't Perez Hilton get in trouble for showing, like, Miley Cyrus with her fucking legs open or yes. something? Yeah. Wow, really? That's a, that's a way to treat a teenager, to, to yeah. fucking show what, what her panties yeah. or her pussy? That could have been devastating to her. That hypocrite. Fucking, fucking phony. Fuck. Oh, he's the biggest he's phony. fucking phony as far by as the, the way, cyber just, and goes. I mean, just as research, Danny, punch that picture <sighs> up, just so I could research it and see exactly what, holy fuck. Wow. So a paparazzi camera catching, oh, whether it's Britney or somebody else's pussy sticking out, yeah. is put out on every website, and it's acceptable. But this college student is a terrible guy if he wants to secretly film it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, it's, it's and very he, similar. Believe me, these college students are pieces and, of shit. And Perez Hilton is speaking out is, is so guilty of what you're of talking about. Of course he is. And I'm not defending the college students. They're scumbags. No, obviously, yeah. But you can't just put the blame there and act like we have no idea how it happened. It's part of our culture. Yep. We got Kathy Griffin and Perez Hilton left. Kathy Griffin's just a goofball. I like so. Kathy, too. I mean, I, Perez is the only one that really... Out of all of them, Perez so, is the only one that really annoys me. So why don't we me. move right on to Perez Hilton? Because yeah, he's guilty of it. There. He is the biggest cyber bully yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. His site Total is cyber fucking bully. huge. Hypocritical cum fucking bubbles. Cunt. He's a cunt. He's yeah. A cunt. Uh, cocaine dripping out of noses. I yeah. cannot stand this motherfucker. Uh, and he's going to speak out about cyberbullying. Yeah, this let's is, hear this. This is completely insane. He's it's disgusting. What he does. That's his job. He's made a fine living. His career is cyberbullying. Uh, not just Hollywood. Enough. And, Anybody in the news, and 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 calling little girls whores and, and shit. people that are right, people that are not even of age, exactly. So and showing that private shot or showing private shots that would be humiliating to someone. This motherfucker. Hey, the, you got to take the good with the bad. <laughs> <laughs> he would put a humiliating photo that someone was not posing for up in a second uh -huh. yes. and embarrass somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Dickhead. Why isn't anyone calling him out on this? Because he's gay and he's fucking speaking out on. This. No one listens to us. You gotta no. work on fucking people, eggshells. People just think we're fucking goofball of shock course. jocks, but uh, how about someone calls Perez and Hilton are. out on this shit? Yeah. Look at all the cum bubble shots. Oh. Look at the cock shots that he draws. Yeah. Big fucking cocks. Yeah, Perez Hilton, right, exactly. He draws cocks in people's faces and then wonders yeah. why. Where this homophobia comes from. You're you're presenting a dick in a man's mouth as if it's this bad an thing. An insult. As an insult. And an insult to somebody, yet you don't want people to talk about it like you it's an phony. insult. Yeah, okay. You're a fucking hypocritical You phony cock. motherfucker. You're a cocksucker hypocritical fuckwad. And, he, he'll, and his argument would be, well, I do it to women too. Oh, shut you, it. We, we all understand the difference between a dick drawn in a girl's face and the implications of that and a dick drawn in a... We all get that. Right. Yeah. So, so you don't well, play that semantics let, game. Let's go to his dumb audio. All right. <laughs> Hello, my name is Perez. You may know me from my website, Perez. You know, my oh. website where I draw cum bubbles yeah. and cocks on pictures. Yeah, and yeah. I cyber you know that website. Uh, yeah. PerezHilton.com. And this video is directed and made with love for those of you who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and having a difficult time being whom you were born. Uh, if you're in high school, if you're in middle huh. school and you're finding it difficult to go to school, to be accepted by your family, I'm here to tell you, it gets better. Not everything gets better. You'll still get pimples like I have on my nose, but mm. most everything in cum life- will get that out. Just get a little, rub a little cum on that, and uh, that'll clear up your uh, pimples on your nose. You oh, hypocrite. God, I hate this guy. Fucking wad he is. Not because he's gay.
He's just, he's just a, a I hate him because he contributes nothing. Uh, absolutely. He is, uh, he's like when Wall Street would liquidate. They uh, would capitalize on other people's things. Yes. He's just a blogger who contributes nothing. He's not funny. He's, he's a not a good writer. Redditor. He's, he's not creative. He's simply a poster of information. Hey, our, pa stinks. our pal Brendan's on the line, who, of course, is a big part of what would Tyler Durden do dot com. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> WWTD dot com. Brendan, what's hey, up? Buddy. Hey, my fellas, I'm Morton. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that Perez actually takes credit for outing Lance Bass because for years he would go on his website and, and scream that Bass was gay, even though he hadn't come out of the closet yet. And when he eventually mm. did, Perez actually took credit for it and said he was right to do it. To, uh, uh, to out other gay kids. So, and correct. there was a show called uh, Kyle XY, I think on Disney Channel. And he tried to out that kid too for years. So he's cyberbullying. I mean, Lance Bass didn't feel like is. telling the world he was gay yet. Oh, yeah. He, he did the exact same thing these kids did. He, he, he went on the internet and said, uh, uh, this kid who was trying to have a private life is gay, and we should all know about it. So why is no one call? You guys should call him out on your site for it because you guys have a big site, and uh, uh, you, you have a big voice, man. And it really is. It's amazing how they're all concentrating only on the fact that the kid who killed himself, which was very sad, was gay. But that to me is not the issue. The issue is invasion of privacy, and it's all this shit. And these guys, and President's guilty of that. Mm -hmm. It's what he does. I, I'm, a, I'm a piece of shit, but at least I admit it. I don't pretend to be anything different. But dude, you have a site. <laughs> And the difference is you're not on uh, you're not on uh, the Miss America pageant making uh, self righteous sanctimonious statements about what's right and wrong, and then going on your site and drawing cum on people's eyeballs. You know, it's like what Perez Hilton is doing is he's a dirtbag and he's a cornball and he draws dicks on faces and then he tries to be this this fucking uh, this this poignant changer of social issues and he's an asshole. Yeah, he actually thinks he's noble and that he's doing something important. Yeah. He's, he's, just, he's not. He's just a piece of shit. And, uh, yeah, I think people are catching on to that, but... I have no idea what the deal is. Really but now he's gonna it. now he's gonna come out and speak up uh, on this subject. The guy should crawl in a fucking hole when uh, subjects like this come up because he's one of the biggest perpetrators. Fucking asshole. Oh, I, 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 like, like Jimmy said, he's he helped establish the entire culture. He took it to a whole new, intimate, personal level. You know, it was always in magazines like people and things like that. But he just really made it much more personal and. And, and vicious. Right. Well, who who was uh, the bra that was uh, peeped on through the hotel uh, room? That girl from ESPN. I, I forgot her name all of a sudden. Aaron Andrews? Uh, yeah. Aaron Andrews. I'm sure he posted those photos all over his side, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, now, I'm sure you guys did, too, but at least you know who you are. And, you know, Perez can't play it both ways is, is the point we're making today. Did... Yeah, you're right, dude. You know, if you're posting these pictures that uh, that shouldn't be out there to begin with, and, and, and then... Turn around and you're all about uh, stopping cyberbullying. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah, he's more than happy to call, uh, you know, to call people fags. But if 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 you say the same thing to him, he'll he, he's outraged. Right. And if you have pride in your sexuality, why would you call like other guys fags? Wouldn't that be well, gay guys do that? Yeah, but what is yeah, that like, about? Hey, queer, hey, fag, uh, yeah. sweetie, sister, yeah. girls, ladies. I guess. Well, how about when, uh, how about when Perez posted those uh, those leaked Clay Aiken photos of his like shirtless webcam uh, oh, sure. right, flirtiness right. that was yeah, happening? Yeah, look at what he's doing. Did he online? do that? Did oh, Perez help him do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure Clay Aiken didn't really want that out there. So I Perez. guess that's so acceptable. You, so what are you talking yeah. about, Perez Hilton? And that yeah. came the from the internet. The fuck are you talking about? Since you know how hard it is to be gay, and you know how devastating it is to have that outed, you motherfucker. Why are you trying to... Why? Because they're celebrities? They can't commit suicide? Right. What would happen if that humiliated Clay Aiken and he killed himself? He could have very would you have taken the hit for that? Jumped oh, off a bridge or something me. because of that? I just posted the pictures. Somebody else, he put them up online. Fucking hypocrite. Yeah, where's all the respect and love for transgendered or gay people's privacy? Since you know how hard it is to be in that situation, you're saying that since you came out, they should live the same kind of life you should? Yeah. They should have the same comfort level you should? Don't you think Clay Aiken would have been upset to see his womanly tits 
on uh, line like that. He really has an awful. I thought I know I have awful tits, but he has abs and man tits. I don't know how you do that. Yeah, that's a little weird. That that's a one. weird combo. Wow. Brendan's gone. I don't Did Brendan leave? Brendan. Uh, maybe his phone fucked up. Okay. All right, let's get back to the Perez Hilton uh, yes, video please. blog. This is amazing oh. stuff. My God. But most but, everything but. <laughs> in life will get better. Because I, you'll be older, you'll be wiser, you'll have experience, and if you're in a really unpleasant situation in a year, in two years, in three years, in a few years, you'll be out of there. I know it may seem like a lot of time now, but when you start to get older and you're 32 like myself, a year, two years, three years is not that long. I remember when I was 15 oh God, here we go. and gay... I had a dick in I my mouth and I was so closeted. I went to an all boy Jesuit school in Miami. Mm, hot. And I remember <laughs> once vividly in theology class, aka religion, getting a boner. The teacher said, <laughs> You know, there are studies that say that 10% of everybody is gay. And I was like, Wow, that's a really revolutionary thought for a Christian school, for a, for a Catholic teacher. And then she had to, of course, add on to that by saying, but you boys are not like everybody else. So I don't think that 10% of you are gay. Your, your percentage is way less. Well, maybe it's 1%. And actually, the percentage was way more than 10. Oh, really? Uh, but high school wasn't the easiest of times for me. Uh, and... I think one of the reasons. This is a Listen to him rambling about. He's himself. not talking about cyberbullying though. No, He's just talking about being gay. It's me being gay. You get it. And I think one of the reasons for that also was I didn't have that many people to look up to. Mm. I didn't have from your role knees. models, <laughs> oh, good, bad, it. or any kind of models on television. I remember the only gay person I saw on TV Charles when Nelson I was Riley? young was Pedro Zamora on The Real World. Oh, now, Pedro. I love that we have a whole gamut of people from Neil Patrick Harris, who is amazing, to myself, whom a lot of people hate. Oh, oh, you, oh, you cornball. Oh, you cornball. Oh, boy. Oh. Once again, we uh, we refer to his website. It runs the whole gamut. With the cum bubbles and yeah. the cocks. From and Neil Patrick Harris to, yeah, the guy that draws cum bubbles yeah, on people's Yeah, doing a mouth. great job, great service for gay people, drawing cum on people's faces and dicks in their faces as a form of insult and humiliation. Real service to the gay community, you yeah. phony motherfucker. What a Ridiculous. Dick. Way to stand to tall. To myself, whom a lot of people hate and find annoying. But I would but. have loved to have had me around when I was a teenager. Why? You would have outed really? you, you fucker. You would have outed you yeah. and humiliated you. Right. You would have been the first one. I bet he'd have gone back and sucked his own dick, though. That's what he means. <laughs> like Back to the Future. You could go back, suck your own cock. Because I would have either looked at Perez Hilton and found him extremely annoying or thought he was really cool, but loved the fact that Perez Hilton was able to create something from nothing. Can I please pause? Here's what they, here's Oh what you, my God, is he deluded. What, what you should say is, I would look at Perez Hilton and realize that our country is indeed moving into a fact, a, a place where nothing in your private life is sacred. Yeah. And it is okay to humiliate you for being who you are. Because that's what you do, Cause scumbag. Because vultures like Perez Hilton you are out vulture, there. You vulture. You humiliate people yeah. because of how they look or what they're doing or who they... You make your living humiliating people. And then you wonder, why would somebody humiliate somebody else? You are a despicable, yeah. phony motherfucker. He, he could be the number one cyber bully out there. Yeah. I mean, how many hits does this dumb website get? He wishes millions and millions a, a week easily wishes he was there for him he's yeah he's really? a big part of the problem so, so you, you could out yourself so you wish I, I he wishes Perez Hilton was there for him so when he was 15 he could go online and f and feel better about feeling humiliated by seeing other people publicly humiliated yeah shut your face this guy is such a shut up dick. he ate something from nothing and become successful Oh. And not have to be something he's not. Perez Hilton is very gay and proud of it. 
So what? Yeah, I don't give a shit. So what? What does that have to do That's with a, you being a scumbag? Yeah, we don't and a give vulture. a shit about that part yeah. of it. I don't care who you fuck. You're a vulture. Right. right. We have a problem with you being a vulture. And what did you create? The name is not even yours. Hilton, you took from Paris Hilton. You yeah. just take everybody else's personal life. What did you create from what, what, nothing? What did you create? Invasion of privacy, he created. You're a poster of, of pictures and right. stories and rumors and innuendo. I give a shit if your dick smells like fucking duty. <laughs> so you should be proud of who you are. Because it's not a choice to be who you are. You were made this way. As Lady Gaga says, you were born this way. So, Thank God. if you're having a Both. hard time, talk to someone. Shut up, bitch. Talk to a friend. Bitch. Talk to your parents if you can. No, you can't. Talk to a stranger. Call a hotline. Just don't talk to Perez talk to Hilton because yeah. he'll print it. Talk <laughs> yeah, about no your kidding. feelings. <laughs> <laughs> because suicide good. is never the solution to difficult times. I Apparently have been it is. there. <laughs> I went through a point in my life where I was suicidal Unfortunately. daily. I was so depressed and miserable. What wow. a shame that he uh, didn't that, do it. That would have been a nice solution. Oh, uh, what a fucking pleasure that would have been for all the people that he makes miserable on a daily fucking basis. You fucking I was so come depressed here, and asshole. miserable, hating life. I felt like I was in a black tunnel. And I Ooh. saw no oh, really? black tunnel. Black tunnel. Yeah. What's that all now about? it's on. Right. Now we're all right, getting now sexy. he's getting sexy here. Come on. Wow. Black tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying to pull out the gerbil. Right? Open it up. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw no light at the end of it. Oh wow. I was thinking daily how I would kill myself. Today I'm going to slip my wrist. Today I'm going to uh, hang myself. Today I'm going to jump off my building. I'm going to go to. But you know what got Oregon me through and that? Find a horse. Time. Over the course of time, my problem got better. Things changed. I got fired from that job that I hated, and it was a blessing. So yeah. things that you may be experiencing now watching? that you think are bad, <laughs> in hindsight, in the Hind. future, may turn out to be some of the best things that ever happened to you. So also, and in closing, email me. Closing. My email is Perez at PerezHilton.com. Nice plug. If you need yeah, somebody to talk to, if you, if you want advice, if you're having a hard time, I am here for Listen, gay uh, kids, don't fucking email Perez Hilton. He's there for Somehow you. Somehow it'll, it'll be on his website. He'll, yep. he'll expose yeah, you for being yeah. gay in some fucked up way. Yeah, yeah, how about this? Uh, That's our message to the gay kids. Don't if, fucking email Perez Hilton. He can't be trusted. If a celebrity... With okay, your secret or your photos. How about, let's just say, a conservative celebrity. Right. Let's say uh, someone who he doesn't like emailed him and said, Look, I'm homosexual or I'm a lesbian. And I, I'm, uh, you, that motherfucker, you know he would find a way to embarrass them on the website of and course. get himself... Some, what a what a jizz bucket! What you want, a if you want douche. advice, if you're having a hard time, I am here for you. Okay, so know that you are special and you are loved. Yeah. And you're 15, younger or older, and your life and your spirit is of great value. Bye. Hey, you know this is good. Uh, Press Hilton. I don't I don't want to give out his uh, his Twitter name, but this guy just writes: Trust me, gays hate him too. Oh, good. That's good to know. Yes. <laughs> I still know. have your your uh, number so I can text what you. A, what a fucking phony hypocrite. And someone on, on uh, instant feedback, fair enough, fair enough, Brian in Alabama. What if, uh, He's in the same league as Perez. Brendan said. He said that. He goes, look, I'm a dirtbag. I know it or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. He he's not trying it. to be something he's not. Which is The fine. problem is Perez. Perez is. He's yeah. trying to play it both ways, he's and that's why there, we have yeah. a problem. The guy Brent, from What Would Tyler Durden Do is not on fucking... Look, yeah, he's not speaking he's out about cyberbullying. Right. Cyberbullying and gayness. We're, we're dirtbags when it comes to this of type of thing. Of course we are. Well, we, we throw a lot of fucking intelligence at you, too, uh, as far as the topic goes. <laughs> a lot or a little? A minor, lot. Minor amount. <laughs> I say a lot. Uh, this okay. is way more honest than what fucking I Perez just said. A <laughs> <laughs> bird shit about that. Uh, <laughs> but but we're not sand. being self righteous about it. No. No. I That's would never. Bl I believe me. I know a lot of stuff about people's personal lives that I would never say on the radio or on stage. I just Thank wouldn't you, do by it. By the way, Jimmy. No, nah, everybody believe already knows. Me, that fucking the black guys.
Oh, the house. If I had a photo of you with a black dick in your mouth, I couldn't not put it out. <laughs> oh, all for that. It would be from great on my every... reputation. <laughs> well, not in my eyes. <laughs> all right. Fucking Metallica. Metallica. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Uh, I like this. I like it too. Oh. Yeah. I should have spoke up yesterday, but it's I was like, scared I was going to be bullied. It's like your grandmother coming into the fucking song and not with this bitch. It's evil, Anthony. There's a little evilness here. Uh, enjoy the evilness. Yeah. Oh, you little bitch. You make me want to move it. Yeah. Listen to this. It's they let it go too long at the end. It's like your dumb fucking grandmother around the house when she's doing laundry. Why are you singing. yelling? I'm mad at <laughs> your it. Grandmother doing laundry. Yeah, and she's going around with the hamper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not Metallica. Oh, old bag, yo battle axe. <laughs> But the I hate her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, let's uh <laughs>